name, otherwise it's just Ugtrio, and that sounds like a caveman. <laughs> Ugh. This is a little disingenuous because this is a lo-fi mix of Generation Two. Yeah, this playing, is Gen Two. Yeah, I was gonna say this is a uh, this is Generation One we're playing. Do you think they'll notice? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, but e but equally, who cares? Uh, yeah, I know Jodo is next door anyway, but you know we're not there yet. Howdy ho, neighborito. Oh, what can I do? <laughs> 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 oh, I'm seeing double four Flanders. <laughs> uh, Bruvan, I ended up streaming for like four hours. Oh, I love that both Twitch and Discord does not say that you're streaming. Excellent. I'm glad things are back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let me switch over to the main feed and we'll get introductions out of the way here. Switch over to my Game Boy overlay. The The screen's blank for now because I have the emulator paused. But uh, hey, everybody, welcome to another session of my Living Dex Adventures in the Pokemon series starting with generation one all the way at the very beginning of the series although technically if we want to be really technical i should be playing red and green japanese because uh that predates the american red and blue by a year i want to yeah, say that, yeah, a little longer than that yeah yeah because that was in 96 right so damn close to two years i want to say man and believe it or not, these sprites were uglier. <laughs> right. Well, let's see here. The originals but. were February 27th, 1996. The updated blue version was several months later in October that year. Yeah. There was then a Comic Con slash comic version that was 99. We didn't get it until. Well, you didn't get it till September 98. We didn't yeah. get it till October 1999. Why did local? Why did it take so long? Five different small things. indie company game freak. No, because like that was a thing for a while. It was also a gag with the Final Fantasy series too. Like it'd be released in English, but fucking overseas, European and power region wouldn't see that shit for like another eight months. Oh well, fuck you. That's why. But, but it's like, why? It's still in English. Distribution. <laughs> <laughs> Distribution oh, yeah. issues. You have, have to, to think remember. about it. You're sending it to multiple countries instead of like the United States. Might as well be like the EU, except transportation is nowhere Man, near as bad of an issue. Fuck. Okay. Well. Well, here's the kicker. Only several months later, we got yellow. So, <laughs> like, oh, like this. By the time we got red and blue, you got yellow two weeks later on the dot. Man. So while y'all were running around with like, yeah, Pikachu the kids and in America. Oh. Anyway, hold on, hold on. I gotta check my items because I haven't. I got eleven Pokeballs. That should be enough. I'm gonna deposit that. But moonstone. This, <laughs> I don't need that Moonstone now. But this is a Japanese movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Digimon. Wait, was Kids in America in Digimon? <laughs> Shit, I wasn't even. There's a lot that of right. songs in oh, okay. Digimon. <laughs> Are you planning on doing the Mew glitch for Dex completion? Already did it. We're the and kids we in Kyoto. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> We're the kids in Afghanistan. <laughs> Whoa! Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> Professor Oak, tell me how my pro progress is going. Yes. Pokedex completion is 45 Pokemon seen, 16 Pokemon own. Professor Oak's rating? You're on the right track. Get a flash HM from my aid. Do, 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 it's do, been do. one week since you looked at me. me. <laughs> <laughs> That'll probably be more appropriate by next week, assuming uh, everything with LA goes uh, smoothly. So, uh, anyway, let us uh, 
That is convenient. Let's go down south then. I have to get Flash, and Flash was on the way, or was it a? In, you have to go through Diglett's Cave back to Pewter City. Right, right. Oh, that's right. Because now that the uh, now that we cleared Misty, the fucking home that was robbed by Team Rocket is open. Yep. Well, okay. that and we did um Bill. Yeah. Left both oh wait, hold on a second. Like you know what I should do? I, have to, I should have the chat popped out. And uh, also, Kyle Turner, you have not missed much. No, we literally started we, yesterday, and yeah. like 45 minutes was me looking for a fucking Pikachu in Viridian, so yeah. you have not missed anything. We found a Pikachu, we found a Clefairy, and then we got an HM Slav link. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or HM made if you don't uh, know anybody that's Slavic. Oh, I thought you said Slob. No, no, Slav. We found Truckmon. <laughs> Truckmon. <laughs> What's that Digimon? It's, it's a gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't even get me started. <laughs> here you go. Gun drill. Hippity hop, here comes the Glock. Is it? Nah, uh, fucking I don't know if I remember gun hearing this correctly, but Pikachu's voice samples in yellow actually took up a considerable size of the ROM space, didn't it? Yeah, do you want to know what's even funnier? What's that? Or more scary, depending how you want to interpret it. They oh. did nearly all of the Pokemon's cries from what? the Japanese anime and tried to fit it into yellow. If you thought Pikachu sounded bad, oh honey, you ain't heard nothing. <laughs> like, can you think of a standout example that, like, oh my god, this is actually a scream of hell. Holy shit, Pikachu. I mean, aside from all of them, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's, uh, not as, chat. <laughs> it's not going to get as bad as uh, what some of the glitch mons can do, like female symbol. Right. That's a particularly <laughs> noted glitch Pokemon. Female symbol. Okay. Well, that's what it's called. It's glitch te glitch garb garble tiles, and then the only standout one that's readable is the symbol for female. So it's just called female symbol. It looks like Gigas from Earthbound in Pokemon, and every time you encounter it, it screams at you, and that's ah! it. <laughs> no, it's fine. Chris, it. Chris Hansen. Don't. No, it's not Chris Hansen. This is drowsy. <laughs> Did you mean Chris Angel? Asks Siri. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, fuck. What am I doing? Bite's not dark type in this. There's no dark type at all. <laughs> Fucking Gen 1. Oh, here they are. Oh, da have they done. Okay, yeah, they did nearly all of them. Didn't get all of them. Da 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 da. Yeah, right, they that's did. A dig. Okay, so they did at least 74. Actually, you no, know, it's a beautiful day. I think I'll go back to the Poker Center. Okay, yeah, first one takes it. That first one took it, sweet Jesus. Uh, can you play it? Uh, can Jason uh, play it? If you put it in the Discord. I can, I can link it. It's an OG file. Oh, okay. OG. Oh, Jesus. Oh, GG. I will say, lower the fucking audio before you play oh, it. Oh, GG. Is the emulator doing that on your side too, John? What is it? Uh, every single time you press a button, it, uh... <laughs> the, the fucking, like, file emulation, all that, the... The UI on top Oh, the UI on top is, Uh, no. It's just a... Just... Because I'm playing Windowed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, so... On your end, on the Discord, you're seeing the entire window. Okay. Alright, let's get my ears blown out here. And you can have fun trying to guess what the hell this one was. So this is a Japanese uh, Pokemon cry. Yes, that was supposed that to That was supposed to be in yellow. yellow. But got scrapped. But got scrapped, okay. Right. Uh, as soon as uh, Jason can play it for us. I'm trying to decipher this. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Just uh, whenever you're good to go, because I'd rather not get ambushed by that, because it might be loud. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, who wants to take a guess at what that was supposed to be? Well, that sounded like Pikachu. It wasn't. It wasn't? Can no. you lower it a bit and play it again? Yeah. Wait, what the fuck was that? I, I hear Pika P. Is that supposed to... What is that supposed to be? Oh, you no. It? Fucking bent in green needle. <laughs> <laughs> what is it extremely... If I said that was Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur? 
What yep. was Bulbasaur's Japanese name? Well, if you let me boot it up right quick, uh... Ushigadane. Bruh. <laughs> now, that was just the first one. I've got 73 others here. <laughs> oh, good lord. Um, who am I gonna give to the, uh... Wait, when does, um, Abra evolve to Kadabra? Was that 15 or 16? Okay, so 16. I just Squirtles. Squirtles sounds like my ears just got dug out of the loudest depths of hell by a garden rake. <laughs> Why is this one named Blackie? Was that, that was Umbreon's name, right? That's Umbreon's name. <laughs> yeah, that was Umbreon, yeah. yeah. Holy shit. Don't Fushi shoot! <laughs> that Pokemon <laughs> isn't Blackie. <laughs> What was that, Jason? Uh, Ushiginan, I think. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, he wants uh, to for uh, Bulbasaur. Uh, I don't hear that. I whatsoever. don't hear that whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, that just sounds help, help. <laughs> Everything's on fire. Well, if you want the full thing, I can provide the full thing. It's let me get the uh, muses right quick. Pikachu. <laughs> All right. Yeah, How no, many items you you. were in this tunnel before? I found the X special. If we can find X accuracy, so that'd be sweet. Yeah, it's not every single Pokemon. It's 74 out of the original 150. So, yeah, they, they so they had no intention of doing it in the first place, but they didn't even fit them all in, I guess. Well. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, no imagine way. waking up at like two in the morning in your bedroom, pitch black, and all you hear th is that in the distance. <laughs> like, what would you fucking do at that point? <laughs> do you risk turning the light on to find your gun? Or, or you just fumble your way through your room and try to find it in the dark so that you can cover your positioning? Uh, Chaotic Doctor, the uh, to answer the question, because I've been getting this since we started uh, yesterday, a living dex is not just completing the Pokedex, like getting all 151 Pokemon. It is having one of each Pokemon. And I mean one of each. So to use like the starters, for example, it's not enough to have your Bulbasaur eventually evolve into a Venusaur. You gotta have a Bulbasaur, you gotta have an Ivysaur, and you gotta have a Venusaur. That's a living dex. Live, you're essentially getting all of them. Okay, oh, no. I, think, I think I found the worst one. It's Magnetons. Magneton? Okay. Oh boy, that one was already like electric noise. Okay, John. What's up? Think of this. So this is Brainstorm, okay? Okay. All right. All right. That's Brainstorm. That's Brainstorm. Okay. Now, I'm going to pause the ambulance. Think Green Needle. <laughs> green Needle. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's the same video the played same, back yeah, twice. I was going to say, uh... <laughs> Dude, it just sounds like, like one of those, like, you remember the, like one of those fucking, like, kindergarten toys, like, the cow goes mool, or something like that, but the needle goes green needle, or some other shit. But it's, it's just like, oh, no, yeah. brain, stop filling in the gap. <laughs> Twin blaster. But yeah, it looks, I guess there's, one, the obvious quality, absolute shite. Yeah. Second, no uh, fucking hell, we at this a single Game Boy cartridge at the time. We haven't caught a bell yeah. sprout yet. It's just sound quality is really bad on that, and then like your brain tries to fill in the gaps. <laughs> I just, I just listened to the last one that's on this archive, and it's Magikarp. It's not even recognizable as a sound. It sounds like a dead radio <laughs> or a Wiimote speaker. This is a blue dino. Yeah, a Wiimote speaker that's been dropped in water. Good lord. Dun, 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 dun. Why did they even try? Probably because... Oh, well, you know, it's supposed to be closer to the anime. Obviously, we need to fit all the anime voices in there. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, dear Christ, my ears. Yeah, I gotta turn this low, low. Bellsprout is blue and yellow only. Yeah, because I think red is the oddish line. Uh, fun fact, those... What the fuck? 
That was Atkins. That was Atkins? Hold on, can you play it again? Okay, well, it's, well, I mean, to be fair, that's very snake-like anyway, but good lord, why do you even bother at that point? Right? Yeah. Yeah, they wouldn't have been able to pull this off properly until Jam Uh, what do you guys prefer more, the Bellsprout line or the Oddish line? Uh, Oddish. Because uh, I like, yeah. I like Vileplume a lot more than Victory <laughs> Bell. Fun fact, though, those two lines are the very last Pokemon they designed and added into the game. Really? Yep, they were the last two lines. Because again, in the internal order, Pokemon aren't numerically sorted. They're sorted by when they were inserted into the game. Yeah. So if that's why if you capture M, for example, and it evolves, well, it's zero. Its evolution isn't defined properly, so it goes to increment up one, which means slot one. Slot one is Rhydon. It's, it's to me, uh, is nightmare fuel. Jesus Christ. Christ. Fucking uh, Skyrim Hunter, it, it, it's not even a matter for Valpum having better moves, uh, for me specifically. I just think, like, the Oddish line are more aesthetically pleasing, despite the fact that they probably stink like corpses. Because, uh, yeah. uh, uh Vileplume <laughs> is based off of the Rafflesia. I mean, the entire line is based off of Rafflesia, except for Oddish. But, uh, you know, still, I just That's like good. looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's neat. Yeah, exactly. Wait, what the hell was that? That was <laughs> Cubone. That was Cubone? Play that again? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. That's just... What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> this is straight up nightmare fuel. <laughs> Dude, that's... Is, like, is that when their mother died? Like, is that the noise they made? <laughs> like, when they found the corpse? Like, holy shit. And Tangela is, like, just as... Like, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. Okay, for, for clarification, because some folks are just getting into the chat, we are playing what was supposed to be Pokemon Cries in the Japanese version of Pokemon Yellow. But yeah, they ended up axing they, them. <laughs> they wanted to put all of them in the game yeah. instead of just Not Pikachu's. just Pikachu, yeah. I never looked at more Nightmare Fuel. I found a video with the uh, female symbol. Oh, what am I doing? Examples. fucking grass type, dude. Ugh. I can't leave, can I? Okay, cool. I can, despite the Pokemon being wrapped around my Pokemon, I can just run away just fine. That's cool. All right, so in this route specifically, the rare catch is Meowth, I believe, right? I want to say so. Anybody got the statistics on that sort of thing? Uh, Otherwise, uh, what are we looking for? uh, Meowth. Meowth, Meowth, what race are we on? Uh, we are on, I uh, fucking left my map in the box. <laughs> okay, let me think. We're in a low ball, so I'm gonna say maybe six or seven. Uh, twenty-five percent says Emily. Thank you, Emily. Okay, we're on route six. Uh. And we also got to get two because we have to evolve one into a Persian and leave one as Meowth. Yeah, it's blue exclusive. Twenty-five percent encounter rate. Levels are. Dude, 10, 12, imagine 14, having a fucking Pokemon with a negative one encounter rate. Like, what the fuck does that even look like? Imagine one that's uh, several thousand kilograms in weight and is literally taller than Pokemon Tower. Uncatchable. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna paralyze Bellsprout. Then I'm gonna switch out. Because I gotta catch Bellsprout anyway. Yeah, we gotta trade it for an Onyx. Wait, wrong game. <laughs> I mean, worst case scenario, we do have the backup. <laughs> Negative catch rate. Victory the Pokemon bell, tries to catch no. you. <laughs> like the Pokemon tries to catch you. Victory Bell used Vor. Peck oh, no. might kill the Bell Sprout. Nah, he'll be fine. You think so? All right. Yeah. They're pretty tanky. Hmm. Mm, what was that? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear you over the sound of old shit critical. <laughs> See, when you don't want it, well, you get them. When you want them, you don't get them. That's how critical <laughs> hits work, to which I say, fuck you, critical hits. All right, hold on. Let me switch. Let me, I'm going to switch over to uh, Peck Mac right now, actually, because I'm not going to level up uh, Pikachu for a little longer. I'm not evolving Pikachu into Raichu until I learn Thunderbolt. Because uh, guess know. what? When you fucking evolve a Pokemon with the Evolution Stone, they just stop learning moves. Uh, there are exceptions to this, I believe, though. Uh, the evolution line, I think, still learns stuff. They do, yeah. Yeah. 
but any other stone evolution type stops. Yeah. In the older gens, at least. Uh, Buck Bumble is in the box. There we go. That's what happens when it doesn't crit. Oh, thank Christ we're about to throw a ball at it, because I cannot Bickety fucking Buck deal Bumble. with this fucking rap bullshit. There we go. Hey, there we go. All right, it's one of three. <laughs> did you see? Did you hear? Did you know what's coming? Bickety Buck Bumble. Buck Bumble. Uh, we need a nickname <laughs> for this bell sprout, though. Uh, Lucid, you're in the chat. Uh, give me a name for the bell sprout. By the way, Lucid behind the scenes is actually keeping track of every Pokemon that I captured, including nicknames. And, like, what an absolute fucking chat. I don't know about nicknames, but we should at least, like, oh. scroll through the Pokedex before we end each stream. <laughs> oh, no. So we can at least see what you've encountered. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Clarence, okay. Okay, so do you want the good news or do you want the bad news? Oh, uh, give me the bad news first. Uh, Pikachu does not learn Thunderbolt by leveling up in this gen. What? In, no. In, no, in yeah, he does. Blue. Yeah, he does. No. Yeah, in yellow, not in red and blue. Oh, fuck. He needs the TM from Surge. Yep. We need okay, well, okay, no, that's good, oh. because that means we can get it earlier then. We don't have to worry, because I think it like in, in yellow, it's like until like, level 28 or something like that. Yep. Uh, in here, it's just to beat Lieutenant Surge. Well, that, we'll be doing that because we're going to go get Dog Trim. <laughs> Blue Wait. better believe or cry right now. No, man, it's still real to me, damn it. Now, if I you need the TM that. from who? Surge. Uh, Surge. The or uh, <laughs> no, okay. I said search, not Guile. <laughs> They're different characters, the warrior, damn though. it. They're totally different. <laughs> yes, he's the all Unovian hero. What the fuck's in America? I don't know. <laughs> I know all, I see is, all I see is white man with blonde <laughs> hair that was fought in the military. Do you think he served the Nam? <laughs> but did he bring his he committed did, war did, crimes? Do you think he committed war crimes with this Raichu in Vietnam? It was only a Pichu back there. Such strength. Pichu, release the Asian orange! <laughs> <laughs> he committed war crimes with Pichu, and now I'm sorry. He, let, he, he committed it with uh, Pichu. Sorry. Uh, Dude, that Pichu right. has seen some fucked up shit. Alright, this is Asia Pichu going co Pika. <laughs> <laughs> It's an old meme image somewhere of like a Pikachu plushie with like a full on tactical military helmet. And it's like going into Rock to utilizing Co Pika or something. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, we are getting close to filling up our first box, actually. So after we finish this route, I'm actually going to go to the box and count them and see. Uh... Alright, well, now we need a nickname for this Bell Sprout. No, those are Gen 7 gift codes. Don't need them. Uh, uh, if I specify. <laughs> fucking, no, not clearance. <laughs> uh, first uh, first name I see besides clearance, I'll give the name to... Uh, okay, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're going to name it Liberty. Give me Liberty or give me... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Two <laughs> I, cents. I, I thought they'd mute my bike at this point. <laughs> there we go. I found the image now. All right, that's one more bell sprout we have to capture, and then we can worry about evolving into Weeping Bell and Victory Bell later. Oh, it's even got the flag on it. Oh, that's dun, perfect. Where's my antidote? There we go. There you go. Peck neck. Does all want to know Surge? What, uh, what is Lieutenant Surge's Japanese name? Lieutenant L.T. Smash. Uh, Matisse. M-A-T-I-S. Is it Blackie? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, Ian, thank you for the bits. I found the cut Pokemon cries experiment brought up, and Hitmonlee sound sounds like a human fucking screaming. Can you play that one, uh, Jason? Yeah, I can look it up. Our Hitmonlee, all right. To be fair, if it didn't, if it didn't sound like Bruce Lee, God, I've just thought of something cursed, but mm. it'd be amazing if it can be done. 
Guzzlord's scream from the Japanese anime bit crunched onto a fucking Game Boy cartridge. <laughs> <laughs> you said Hitmonlee, right? Hitmonlee, yes. Yeah. It sounds like the... One more time? <laughs> You know what that sounds like? The Max Headroom incident. <laughs> it's that same kind of weird ass distortion. It does just kind of sound like Arbok. You're right about that, uh, Cossington. Oh, fuck off, dude. Can I just throw the ball? You know, we're going to try and throw the ball now because I cannot be bothered with this fucking rap shit, dude. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the Japanese name is Sawamura. So it's probably just saying saw what? Gotta dry ball it. Actually, you know, the mix. Uh, we need another name. They may not be saying the full names. They may just be saying parts All of right, the names. Emily got weed. Uh, we're going to call her, call them weed. That's it. Very straight and to the point. All right, that takes care of the Bellsprout lineup. All we got to do now is like evolve two of them and then we're good. Wow, Emily, how come you get two Pokemon? Did Emily get another one? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Emily, I did ask Emily uh, yesterday, but that's fine. I don't give a fuck. Uh, all right, well, here's a meow. That was the meow for question you wanted. Team Magma did nothing wrong. If it just wanted more land for housing. <laughs> What's so wrong about that? I'm trying to find the fucking chemical company that Disney, like, was getting sponsored by. Mobile, Exxon. Well, the, the, the only reason why I'm looking up is because of the fucking Nom talk. <laughs> because, you know, Disney dropped them after it turns out this company was making Agent Orange. <laughs> Can you uh, clarify what that is? Because some might be a little confused on that. Wait, well, you know, while we're playing Pokemon, let's talk war crimes. Uh, you know, it's a orange? chemical That's weapon that was used in Vietnam. That, um... Try to describe it. It's like a neurotoxin, pretty much. Uh, you, okay, you can just leave it a neurotoxin. Well, it's technically a herbical hemicide. Or herbicide, I should say. What, it was meant for plants? Well, in a defoliant. That was its yeah. original intended purpose. Yeah. So, it's comprised of several types of trichotifiloxacetic acids, isooctyl esters, and... Either way, there was a lot of shit in it, that's the point. Trichotifreason 5-dioxin, which is a chemical formula of carbon, hydrogen, Oxygen and let's see, see now. yellow number five. <laughs> Just litting off the ingredients list. No trans fat though. Mixture of hydrocarbons. It can have developmental effects on the human body. Yeah, don't. You probably shouldn't Google image it. Yeah. Is it really a neurotoxin? A neurotoxin attacks the nervous system. Agent Orange was something else. Agent Orange sounds like like the the label of a fruit drink from someone who doesn't know. I went and advised drinking it. Though. Yeah, uh, yeah. Also, put it, get it away. Why do we Why do we buy this? <laughs> Just throw it away. Then well, again, it, there was a lot of things that were bought back in the day that make no sense yeah. nowadays. Well, let's just say it can include things such as cleft palate. Uh, mental health disabilities, hernias, extra fingers and toes, it can cause multiple skin lesions. Well, hold on, what's wrong with having a six finger? <laughs> well, I'm kidding, by the way, but it's like, still. No one makes gloves that fit you. Fuck, you're right about that. <laughs> Twitchy Roxas. Kid Icarus Uprising players would <laughs> love extra figures. <laughs> I 
Where would the sixth finger go in your hand? It'd probably just complement your pinky. It'd probably just be an extra pinky. It could either be an extra pinky or an extra thumb. Can you imagine living life with a right hand that has two thumbs? That'd be freaky. It should go as an extra middle finger. So if you, fl oh. flip, you can flip some no, of the birds, you, you can't can have. Really flip them you, you only have a middle finger because you have an odd number of fingers. If you have six fingers, you don't have a middle finger anymore. Yeah, but, it, you know, flipping off with two fingers. So what the it's fuck are you going to do? Are you going to, like, combine two fingers to give me the finger? That's a fat I mean, fucking finger. It's like a, yeah, exactly. it's like a, it's like a Vulcan finger. That's what the turtles do. Anytime they're pointing Actually, at someone, Actually, now I think about it, it's like fucking live off. long and prosper is the fucking vagina symbol. And, like, if you do the, f this is a Vulcan insult, right? And this is a Vulcan slur. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's going to get even more complicated when the fact that the Turtles somehow played a one-string guitar in the early 90s. Pick up that one up. Uh, Cross Z Silver says they have a... Wait, what exactly... What's a feud's thumb? Uh, can you elaborate on that, Cross? Fused thumb haver? Yeah. I mean, is it exactly what it sounds like? Is is your thumb like fused with your index finger or some other shit, or is it? Uh, my thumb is like basically fused just to the palm. My my thumb is basically just three fingers fused together. Okay. Honestly, I think that's just that's just neat trivia. I, mean, <laughs> I really got no follow up for that. You said, oh my god, Mino is at level 25 already? If I was, like, my... This is like my first few playthroughs, my 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 war total would be a Blastoise by now, because uh, when I was young, I had a really bad habit of just leveling up my starter. Guilty. Yeah. I encountered someone with the uh, starters that was as strong as the starter, and oh shit. He just automatically went for dog show and went, ha ha, you're fucked. He fought the war. If you have two middle fingers when you flip someone off, you call it flipping the eagle. <laughs> you fuck right. <laughs> Three of them, the albatross. What happens if we just use all five, though? Uh, that's. I think you're just waving to, at someone at that point. Well, no, that's, that's, the, right. that's the Japanese, like, middle finger thing. Dude, we just talked go. about, like, Agent Orange, and we go into Vermilion, and its color palette is orange. <laughs> like, <sighs> uh, and this person signed that as Pokemon was poisoned. All right, hold on. Let's check our box to see how many Pokemon are in one of them. I know we have to be. What's the cap for a box? Is it twenty? Yeah, it should be twenty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why not talk about white phosphorus? Oh no. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. We have five more Pokemon left. Actually, hold on. Is there another fucking Pokemon that I can. You know, I see a couple of lists and then I'll Why the hell am I still poof. holding on to the rat? Oh, because he's legendary. <laughs> <laughs> Just give him a chance. That's rude, but he isn't here yet. <laughs> the record's like, put him in, coach. I can do it, coach. I saw that put video you're talking about, Sonic Gamer, the proof of concept of what red and blue look like in an HD 2D style, like very Octopath. And like, listen, I'm not against it, but that video was very washed out. Like, not exactly Unreal Nintendo hired this man quality, uh, but it was like... Uh, I would have liked a little more color to have a better demonstration of what I would expect from uh, a Pokemon HD 2D remake. No, thanks. The video was bloomed to shit. Well, I mean, the Octopus. <laughs> it's a Game Boy game. You aren't getting color. What fucking what is this shit that I'm looking at right here? No, it's a Butterfree. I forgot this trainer just had a Butterfree. Whole ass Butterfree. I'm gonna butter paralyze free. you. Frankly, my voice can't get very high pitched, otherwise you'd have to literally roll your R's to get the uh, anime voice clip.
That's a Game Boy Color shoot. No, no, no. We're actually playing. Uh, we're playing with the uh, Super Game Boy uh, palette. Because if you're playing on Game Boy Color palette, everything will be one color. It be, you uh, can make it different colors, but it'd be monochrome. If we were running this through an actual Super Game Boy emulator, we could change the colors to whatever we wanted. Yeah. But this game's pretty much been built for this palette, so why bother? If we were running this in Game Boy Color mode, it would have a hard-coded palette assigned to it from the bootstrap, which would be multiple shades of, Oof, well, wow. blue. Good shot. Uh, you know what? I'm going to switch back to the Demise then, because even if it won't be very effective, because it's fucking... Oh, wait, is Butterfree grass bug? Butterfree or is, it bug is poison? bug flying. Bug flying? Oh, wait, the Nutter Shock can be fun. It also learns confusion, so it's like a yeah, yeah. usable early crush, I guess. So Super Game Boy, the Game Boy... Well, Game Boy Tower, the Pokemon Stadium, is just a Game Boy emulator where it just pulls the power data from the border from the ROM and displays it. Same way most Game Boy emulators have been doing it for 20 plus years. Now, if you want to run other games inside that emulator for whatever reason, all you'd have to do would be to swap the ROM headers. Can't guarantee it'll work, but, you know, it's fun for a weekend. I think it was just called the Game Boy Color because it was the first time the Game Boy was able to display color without needing an additional add-on. And there was one more revision between the pocket and the color that no oh, one talked about. Oh, man. Nope. I missed the pocket so much. I had a pocket. Well, uh, uh, I lost it in middle school. Imagine, <laughs> no more pockets. Yeah. Imagine, <laughs> imagine the Game Boy Pocket but with an actual light in the screen. Oh, the light. Oh, wait, you're yeah. talking about a backlight? An actual backlight, yeah. Yeah, before the SP? Oh, okay. No, I never heard anyone talk about that. Yeah, the Game Boy Light. It was Japan exclusive. Only sold for a couple of months before it was replaced by the color. It has hmm. a very bioluminescent green screen that you can either turn on normally and it'll act like a pocket screen, or you could turn the background on. And while visibility was a bit air because of ghosting, in the day it probably pretty good. Runs on two double A's. I've got one myself. Years ago. Still got it somewhere. Yeah, when I was first playing Pokemon Blue, just Pokemon in general, it was on a Game Boy Pocket. Uh, back in middle school. It was red. And I really liked it, and then one day I just fucking lost it. it was, I, I put it in my backpack, and on my way back, it just wasn't there when I emptied my backpack out. I have no idea what the fuck happened with it. Oh, well, I lost, <clears throat> I lost my Game Boy when I was moving. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm willing to bet that someone probably stole it. Yeah, because um, people stole shit from me all the damn time in middle school. Oh my god, I lost half of my fucking Pokemon cards. Oh... Uh, or one day because I fucking left my backpack alone like an idiot. So yeah, that fucking sucked. It was probably that fucking douchebag from the Pokemon 2000 movie. And how it all began, how it all begin, again, looks at your backpack. Yeah. <laughs> what a petty fuck. I mean, man is just like, yo, I'm going to complete my collections. Okay, how are you going to do it? I'm going to use this big fuck-off CGI fortress. Okay, and then what? Then I'm going to capture these pre-birds that are responsible for keeping the fucking ocean in check. Okay, is there any fallback or, you know, fail-safe for this? What's a fail-safe? You talk too Christ? much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what's your endgame when you do have all three? Well, didn't you know there's a fourth one? There's a fourth one? Yeah, Pokemon X. That's a game, idiot. No, 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 no. Look, yeah, you know, big giant burb, massive hands. <laughs> well, it's going to catch my hands first before it catches, you know. I don't want to get hit by that air blast. You've seen that shit? It's like a hyper beam on crack. To be honest, okay. there were a number of... I, I never had an, my stuff stolen when I was a kid, but then again, I live in Canada, so that might have something to do with it. To be fair, yeah. I had stuff stolen from me all the fucking time growing up. Uh, and again, I, it was it was all mainly set in around middle school, too, because I've had... My Game Boy Pocket was likely stolen. I had my Pokemon card stolen. Someone took my CD Walkman uh, towards the tail end of middle school. Uh, I am. Oh, that is just dickish. Austral I mean, fuck, fucking man, if you leave something out or if someone knows that it's there, they will just pilfer that shit. Either for themselves or they just sell it. You better go catch it. <laughs> is your Walkman running? 
Now, I know some people might want to see the uh, truck, so they're probably like, oh, is there any, like, way we can keep the ship? Eh, we don't need to keep it. I've got a stupid way of getting back there whenever. Is it easy to do? Because I don't mind teleporting out of the boat, just a sea we truck. I mean, we don't even need to do that. Literally, all we do is we go to the sailor that says the ship has sailed, we yeah. save, we reboot the game. Once the game's rebooted, we press start, tell Mew to surf. Oh, look, we sailed through the sailor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then it's just like, oh, we're past him now. Cool, I'm going to go see this truck. <laughs> Uh, we're holding on to that nugget. Uh, you know what? That bubble beam that Misty gave us, we can give that to uh, Minnow, Orto, I guess. yeah, because we can just replace bubble with it, unless there's a reason not to. No, no, because I'm not replacing water gun until we get surf. I mean, you can also do it with um, the Pokemon statues as well, because for some reason their That's top off their tiles is um, considered a surf tile. It also means you can fish in it. <laughs> the only thing I don't remember does the Squirtle line learn Bubble Beam? Maybe I can check. Oh uh, yeah, can you? Let's see here. I'll take a swig of my coffee while I wait. Okay, so we need more total. Uh, Spielboyo and uh, Emily have already said negative. All right. I'll double check in as mm -hmm. well. Uh, doesn't learn it in Gen eight or nine, but that's Gen eight, Gen nine. Who cares? Mm -hmm. Nope, it. Does not learn it, so if you want to use it, go right ahead. Because right. of what? Because water guns, it's only water attack move until level forty-seven, where it gets hydro pump. Fuck that! I never use hydro pump. It's all right in this gen because those superpower moves were like ninety accurate instead of being seventy. Yeah. After that, hell yeah. Yeah, like only have like could only do it five times if I recall. Was it ten? Yeah, it's five PP. You can crank five PP in uh yeah in this. Uh, we gotta talk to fan club oh, this dude. Oh, Mr. Fetish. I <laughs> I I think he prefers chairman of the Pokemon fan club. I'm sorry, have you seen that speech? Ah, that's someone who's got a fucking fetish when I see one. Very what fuzzy comes Pokemon. So did you come visit me here, my Pokemon? Yeah. Good mission. My favorite rapid dash. Cute. Lovely. Smart. Plus amazing. You think so? Would you like to hear about my rapidapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadapadap
It was Slacker and Dex. But we can definitely call one of them Dick Licks. <laughs> no, we can't. Why not? <laughs> when we go to trade it up. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be an issue. Wait, oh, no, no, hold on. We can... <laughs> With like later generations of No, mean. no, we can work around it. I'm pretty sure if we Wait. name it D-I-X-L-I-X. It'll be fine. I, you what? <laughs> Are you angry that I found a workaround? <laughs> uh, there is no need to be upset, Dokif. I sound more disappointed than angry, if anything. Speaking of, though, Diglett, we're going to catch one. Yeah, only one. We're going to catch two. Okay. <laughs> fine. Assuming I don't run into the Doug Trio. I might oh, kill this. Trio, 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 trio. trio. Oh, we want to run into the dog trio. That dog trio is going to curb stomp everything if we can get our mitts on it. For one very specific reason. The Pokemon here are like level 18, maybe 20, 22. Yeah, the dog trios here are like 29 to 32, which yeah, is like... it's beefy, but it's also very scary. <laughs> but I, I, always make, say the... I always make a priority to get my hands on it here, because once you get your hands on it, that's it. Gym's free. Four, <laughs> five... Maybe six if you want to push your luck. Seven. You can curb stomp them. Just think that's six. Santiago six saying, all crushed. remember that Jason was the one who brought up Agent Orange. Hey, I wasn't the one that brought up Nom. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Don't fucking growl at me. What are you growling with? Your nose. <laughs> <laughs> so, er, I guess earlier today, Kojima was posting the uh, the politics that are in the MGS games. Hmm. Of just like, telling people his intent with the games. And people are mad saying, why are you making it political? <laughs> 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 now you might have made the games and all the reasons you made it, but you don't know how anything about it. Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> it's finally become full circle. Metal Gear Solid isn't political, Kojima. Yes, it is. <laughs> the fans. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Pri Pirate Video is watching me suffer. <laughs> Insert Green Day's American Idiot. We do need another one. Yeah, we do. Oh. Uh. I mean, we can kill two birds at one stone if we do go after the Doug Trio, because we won't have to evolve the other one then. I don't I remember what the encounter rate was, though, for Doug Trio in David's Cave. I mean, if we got repels, we can make this easier. Uh, oh, we don't have any repels. Because all we'd have to do is get something that's around the mid-20 or whatever's called. Yeah, Miller would be perfect. Yeah. If we have Minnow in lead, we use a few repels. That keeps all the Diglets away, so the only thing that can spawn will be the 29 to 32 Dog Trios. Yeah. And Minnow will be fine. We can handle it. Probably. I mean, Dog Trio can't take a hit, it's a glass cannon. Emphasis on glass. And cannon, to be fair. Uh, we can buy repels and familiar, right? I believe so, yes. I believe so, right? No, I'm gonna make a way. Just use a flying type and it can't touch you. Wait, are you sure, uh, Soul yeah. Kibble? Uh, yeah, ground tap moves calm, hit flying in the but it, doesn't, it doesn't have any normal attacks, though. Maybe I'm Scratch. Assuming. Does it have Slash? Because if it has Slash, uh, then, you know, fuck that idea. Nah, it doesn't with slash naturally it has to learn that through level yeah up. yeah i'm talking no, specifically the dug trio encounter in this because like i know like ground types don't affect flying types but i'm talking about the move pool of the dug trio in this cave specifically i think all it has is just scratch uh sand attack and growl and dig Yeah, 
And the bike shop is back in Cerulean, isn't it? Yep. Hmm. Do I go back now, I ask myself, to get my bike? I mean, it's up to you. You don't technically need the bike. Oh, but I like moving faster, though. I'll just buy three. Then save scum. Because the other side of Diglett's cave takes you to Pewter, was it? Yep, where Flash and the old Amber can Flash. be grabbed. Uh... Uh... The other issue would be we need cords, which we don't have yet. So, uh, so Jeff, when I say save scum, I mean I'm going to use my repels, and if I use all three... Oh, I'm going to save my game first, and then I'm going to use my repels. If I use all three and don't run count on the Doug Trio, I'm going to reset my game. So I essentially get my three repels back. That's safe scumming. Who, who the fuck is this Flash that you're talking about? Uh, I don't know. You All mean I know big is O? <laughs> big O, big O, big O. <laughs> oh, Christ. All right, so now that we use repels, the only thing we're going to encounter is the Doug Trio. That's at a higher level than uh, our War Turtle. Yep. Because the way repels work in Pokemon is that you will not encounter Pokemon that... Was it an equal or lower level than your current lead lower. Pokemon? Lower level. If it's equal, you can run into them. Okay. So, if you know that, it's actually ideal for encountering specific Pokemon. Fucking well, we're doing legendary hunting in Gen 2. Oh, yeah. Repels are pretty much a mandatory. Yeah. Oh, God. We have to get the fucking legendary... Be <laughs> you know, I might just do one little dirty cheat, but it will not be for capturing them. We merely just encounter them and let them run away, just so we can get them registered on the deck, so we can yeah. actually track them. I love that they just plagiarized the Flash Gordon theme. Which one? For for Big O. Oh, I never watched Big O. It's it's amazing. Hmm. Um, imagine uh, Batman, but he fights people using a mecha. Oh, okay. Isn't that just Dark Knight Returns? <laughs> and it's by the same studio that animated Batman. Oh, okay. He's even rich and has a butler. And <laughs> wow, I ran through all three of my repels. Yep. That, uh, is that is right, huh? a low encounter rate. That is a low encounter rate. Yeah, it is. What is this? The dog trail, though. Fuck you, dude. All right. Well, I got to. There some shit had it been last year. Fuck you. Got to reset the game. Reset. I felt my chair wiggle for a second. There you go. I felt it buckle. No, it was uh, it was Diego. Diego's here. But he's behind me. He's probably not gonna climb on my chair. He doesn't do that with my chair. He doesn't want Nora, but not me. Go, Diego, go. All right, let's try this again. Okay, let's see here. Uh, okay, so it's a 5% encounter. 5%? Level, yep, levels are 29 to 31. Mm -hmm. I guess <laughs> the higher, the better. <laughs> John Hikari asking, is he stinky? No. Although sometimes, especially when I was, uh, when he was very young, after we just adopted him, he would get a fucking turd stuck on his ass, just hanging by a fucking cat hair. Ah, uh, cat dingleberries. Yeah. Wonderful. I don't know, dude. Is it a dingleberry if you're, like, dragging that shit like a child will with a red wagon? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, because that shit is out there. I mean, essentially, Dingleberry is just shit stuck on hair. So, yeah. Uh, a hair. Yeah. It becomes a dingle, dingle fairy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a dingle sausage joint. <laughs> 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 
What kind of fucking hair and what are you feeding kind of that? Butt happens? nuggets. <laughs> I never heard of that term, but I might be using that now. Butt tenders. Yeah. If it's long enough. Oh, fuck, man. No, that's no. <laughs> <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't take tender away from me, man. I mean, if you need another name for toilet paper, you can call them shit tickets. <laughs> Yeah, apologies to anyone eating lunch or dinner right now. I oh, just no, fucking, dinner. It's still like it's still technically like eleven fifty four over on the west coast. So breakfast if you're a uh, uh, like late. brunch. Yeah. Yes. yeah, I guess you brunch. Yeah, yeah, just what don't eat. Just don't eat. I, hey, yep, there, there we go. Here. Here's our Doug trio. And it's uh, it's a low baller. It's a low oh, baller. Well. All right, fuck him up. Fuck it, fuck it, Sam. <laughs> okay, just kept turn. Into One wiggle, the ball. two wiggle, three wiggle, four. Yeah! Putting it right into our team. All right, uh, but we need a name for this, uh, Doug Trio. We already called the first one Dick Slicks. Trios. What? You what? Oh, yeah, give it a name. <laughs> <laughs> trios. You just call it trios. Okay. <laughs> trio, trio, trio. Dex trios. <laughs> now that sounds like a band name. Oh, good lord. Well, I'm officially on the team. Put me in, coach. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. Welcome, <laughs> Welcome to the club. Welcome, trios. Trios. Welcome, trios. trios. <laughs> All right. Uh... You can get Clash now if you want. More useful than Linky. I don't know if it's I don't know. Answer. Linky's a 100 Mew. <laughs> That's gonna be our HM Slav. Oh, Slav. just wait till just wait till we get to Gen 4. Oh, I have some very special treats. I think chat may enjoy. Uh, are you trading something? I'm looking for Abra. Want to trade for Mr. Mime? No. This is it the only way you can get one legitimately? For yeah. Us? But it has a stupid name, and it has a stupid palace in Pokemon Stadium, so no, fuck you, you can keep your <laughs> shitty mask down, I can get my own, it's better. It also won't try to, you know, attack me in my fucking sleep. That's that Hypno's job. To the Every south. time they give you a uh, space like this, I keep thinking there's like a hidden item here, and I don't even have the item finder yet. He says to the south, is it above the tree? Probably. Probably okay. Cool. I'm going to try oh, to. There is a tree here. Yeah, there's a tree here. Yeah, I can't. I okay. can't proceed until I get yeah. cut. Yeah, so we need to go back and get cut. Yeah. Do All right. So we, we, we gotta do the boat. We gotta still, fucking do, do the boat. All right. Let's go get wet. Mhm. Mm and I suppose look at the bright side. We now have something that's super effective against our ass. A lot of shit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, his little ace in the hole that is uh, what will be his ivy saw. That's cute. And since we have Dig, look at that built in escape rope. That's true, yeah. Oh, if we use Dig here, we'll go back to the entrance that we just came in through, right? Yep. Yeah, so. Nah. I'm mm, gonna you fight can't every. Escape. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot escape from death. Looks like you're going to the Chicken. Bye bye, gay robot. <laughs> Don't let the human escape. Uh, we need the drowsy next. That's, that's in the route east of Vermilion, isn't it? We also need to get the Sparrow for Farfetch. I think you can get both of them there. Yeah, yeah. Why the fuck did I choose Bite, dude? Ugh. I'm just... I'm on autopilot already. Well, at least it one shot the Doug Trio. The fucking dick. Autopilot. <laughs> Water, did I say water pallet? Yeah, I did. Uh, Victor, we already got Mew. No, I time traveled back into the past and uh, fucking went to a Toys R Us event. It was amazing. You should have been there. You fucking missed it. Come on, this Linky. Mew. My special custom-made Mew that's level 100 and can pound anything into oblivion. Literally, it has pound. That's all it has right yeah. now. I want some pound cake. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, which one of you said I am pounding I your fucking, tuna? I did bite again, man. Uh, bless. No dark type this gem.
What did you drop? <laughs> now, exactly, the only problem is, is Linky might not be translatable over to modern gens because Game Freak looks for the uh, glitch mute. Right. I would say that was a problem, but they're forgetting it's Gen 1. The laws of time are mine. <laughs> I have a little fail safe in mind. Diglett's HP is so bad, why well, waste a water move on it? Because it's a fucking random encounter in a cave and I don't care. And I'm, <laughs> I'm going to the I, Pokemon Center anyway. Yeah, so free experience. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't give a fuck. Basically, he's got shit to do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, bike kills it in one hit too, but it's like, still. Uh, even yeah. then, who knows? Maybe I actually do have the ability to travel back in time and get that Mew from Toys R Us. Maybe I also have an archive of all the Gen 3 event stuff as well. Think of the pee, pee That was cardboard pipe falling sound. <laughs> Wait, what was it? Cardboard, cardboard pipe, pipe falling pipe sound. Okay. Uh, it doesn't hit as hard as metal pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Mario. <laughs> Peach. All right, hold on. Let me go deposit dick licks. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, 3 more Pokemon. Alright, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Da, 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 da. Uh, I'm gonna go get my bike before we go onto the boat. We've also been walking for a bit, so I wonder how my Abra's doing. I doubt, it, I doubt it's gone up five levels at this point. Come back and its legs are missing. Well, I also don't want to make sure I go past the evolution level because I, I miss on, um, what was it, uh, Confusion? I mean, I can learn Psybeam Beam leveling up naturally, I think, as well. But I don't know what how far it is from Confusion and Psybeam. Beam. I don't think it's too far. And worst case scenario, we can get the Psychic TM. Yeah, that's and true. And that's in <laughs> Celadon? Or is that in Sa uh, Saffron? Saffron. Saffron. Always accessible. And yeah, if we need more, we oh, can just fuck. ask our very special investor and donator of Cinnabar Island Ascent. <laughs> It's level 16, dude. I missed the fucking threshold. Ugh. We got Chris back, but at what cost? Well, what level does it evolve? 16, I think. So I don't know how long it'll be before it'll evolve again. Let's see. Abra, uh, it evolves into Kadabra starting at level 16. Yeah. Whoops. I have a rare candy. I mean, there's, we can get all those. Uh, how many uh, rare candies are there that you just find? I mean, can't you just uh, can't you just cancel the evolution and let it learn that way? No, because it it levels it learns to move by evolution. I think, and I also want to evolve into a Kadabra too. So, well, the problem is, is in Gen One, Abra can learn nothing. Yeah, and then in Gen Two, Abra can learn you know tons of stuff. Okay, so yeah, level sixteen confusion. <laughs> 20 is disabled. Psybeam is level 27. 38 is psychic. I already got the rare candy in the back of the dude's yard. But the other ones I could think of are in Cinnabar Mansion and the Power Plants. Uh, I think there's one in like Rocket Hideout. And maybe. trade that Mr. Oh. Mom and get a second arrow. Yeah, I suppose because. Point. So we're at a point now because I I accidentally over leveled this Abra to its level uh, to its evolution level at sixteen. I'm hosed from it. I I can't teach a confusion uh, if I give it the rare candy because it learns it at sixteen and evolving too. Yeah, 
so it won't get confusion anymore and I have to wait until Saibu Yeah, I'm gonna have to get another Abra then. So yeah, we, uh, Emily, we can trade this Abra for the Mr. Mime at the very least. You are right about that. Uh, you know what, then... I'm just gonna wait until later. Cause I was gonna say, we'll catch a second Abra now and put it in the daycare, but I'm about to do SSN. And I'm, that means I'm also about to walk a lot. And uh, I might over level it again. So that's uh, that's not going to be the play. So let's go get our bike. Boop, boop. All right. Uh, let us. Oh, no cycling allowed. What the fuck? There's a time and a place for everything. Oh, hold on. Can we... Oh, uh, wait. Fucking registering an item was... Gen 2, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sucks. Gen uh, 1 definitely is a game. Yeah. It is the game ever made. No, fuck you. It's flawless. Actually, hold on. Let me fucking move the bicycle up here. I don't know, fucking... Oh, I gotta hit select twice. Why didn't I hit select on the Pokeball? There we go. Ooh, first try. Level 8, though. You're not me. Alright. Pokeball, go! Come on, fresh shot, baby. Don't fucking break out of the ball. Don't fucking break out of the ball. Ah, you fucker! <laughs> Goodbye! And away you go. Uh, you can also use select to rearrange Pokemon moves or. Yeah, uh, I knew about that, uh, John. But aren't you only able to do it in battle in Gen 1? I believe so. Yeah, you can do it. I can't do it here because only has one move, but still. Yeah, I don't think you can do it from the actual like menu. Yeah. No, you can't. You have to do a join battle. And let's just yeah. say Weird. its original implementation in red and green was very magical. Yeah. Because mm. you could use it to rearrange memory. <laughs> Bro, evading taxes again. <laughs> right, the way people started finding the um, arbitrary code execution glitches was through something called the Doko Kashira door glitch. Which was discovered by swapping Oak's parcel and a move within your team member, which would somehow give you 255 Pokemon and corrupt a lot of memory. Hmm. Did and this game. Time... I'm sorry, I interrupted the experiment, but quick question for the chat. Did this game have the thing where if you were on the bike, the encounter rate was increased? I don't think so. Okay. Anyway, I'm sorry to interrupt. And then it would cause other. Arbit... Memory shenanigans, like, yep. depending on the number of steps, would determine the next map you walked into. Mm -hmm. And people worked out, you take a specific amount of steps, you end up at Celadon. Do a certain amount of Celadon. Oh, hey, Gary. Bye, Gary. Yo, is that the Hall of Fame machine? Nice. <laughs> My Hall of Fame machine. Uh, and once you've done that, well, congratulations, you beat the game. The problem is you can't play the rest of it. Yeah, that's all right. Well, if you try to go to Viridian City, uh, you walk into a literal glitch city. Hmm. How some of the overworld tiles get corrupted. But some of it looks legit, though. This fucking vacancy you, always available. You, and the rent can, is cheap. You can literally see what looks like a genuine house out of bounds in Pallet Town. I was like, if I took a screenshot of that back in the 90s, that would have been legit. <laughs> and they would have gone, yo, there's a house there, yo, Pika Blue Poggies. <laughs> <laughs> and they'd be saying, what the hell's Poggies? What the fuck, dude? I ran to like two Abras in a row and now I'm not finding any of them. Get the fuck out of here. The last two of their kind. Bullshit. Abra, Abra, Kadabra. That's a bird. I'm gonna reach out and trade ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm trading Chris Angel. <laughs> uh, Abra evolves into Kadabra. It's uh, 16. Uh, I'm currently playing this on MGBA. I'm emulating this game. Wow. 
YMGBA over VBA because VBA has been shit for over a decade. Like, it, it, it's not good. <laughs> VBA is like the most popular option, but it is not good at all. Dude, your voice modulated when you're saying that. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's like you were getting angry and angrier that folks were recommending VBA. So you almost went Darth Jason there for a second. <laughs> Where'd Diego go? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> That's not for you. Is he, is he in the? He says no. He's in the, he's in the box. He's in the stand. Here. Oh, that's it. My it's new his, huh? figure. It's Diego. Collect the whole set. Go, Diego. Vamos, Diegos. <laughs> if it fits, they sits. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Cats in a fucking nutshell. The joys of a lack of collarbone. Diego, I need you to like summon Abra's whatever you want to do. Can you do that for me? No, you're just stepping in the corner again. Ups up a action we play. No, he's still here. No, don't do that. Oh, you summoned Dabra at the very least. Thank you very much for that. I do appreciate that. But don't climb that table. Cats and their goddamn object <laughs> detection. <laughs> <laughs> they got that pattern recognition on point, and then they're like, I'm going to sit on that pattern. <laughs> All right. We already named one. Yeah, we'll name this one Diego. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> we'll name it Diego. Why are you still using Z Snez? Who's using Z Snez? Fucking troll and Man, chat. I, I mean, I used Z Snez too, like 20 years ago. <laughs> right? Uh, but there's, there's literally a fork of B Snez that has the Z Snez UI on it. So yeah. Everyone's happy. Yeah. Why did I go down? Let me think, Zeesnes has not been updated since 2007. Right. Is like a massive security threat right now or something like that? Oh yeah, there's arbitrary code execution in it. Ooh. You can do it very easily. Just using a maligned SNES ROM, that's all it takes. Uh, I have to agree, Lucid. SNES's like, UI was fun. You know, I liked it. But, you know, SNES 9X is pretty much all I need now. Uh, we caught two meows, or we only caught one? Only one, only I one, think. I think. Oh yeah, we have- it's not just SNES 9X and B-SNES, we have Ares, which is the successor to B-SNES. We even got Messen now. And Messen's pretty close to B-SNES in terms of accuracy. I mean, hell, the successor to B-SNES has what is now the most accurate N64 emulator out there. What about Hygen? Uh, Hygen was discontinued in favor of Ares. Ares! Yeah, I was thinking that too. <laughs> <laughs> but I just didn't say it out loud. <laughs> Some ROM Max only work on Z-SNES because bad programming. b literally has options so that those old shitty ROM hacks can work on it. Hmm. I remember Nia adding them just to stop the complaints of those old ROM hacks not working in Beastners. Got rid of second so. name for the cat. Uh, Elgato? Elgato? <laughs> yes, buy one now, latest model and stuff, 4K <laughs> baby. Corsair is gonna send their ninjas after you. <laughs> cool, free ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we already named the first Meowth Selene, Victor. Like, holy uh, fuck. I'm not giving the daycare guy my second Abra. Uh, what was the Mr. Mime guy? He was in, um, past the Dick or something. 
Okay. Ever since Corsair bought Elgato, they've been putting out a lot of new products, but holy shit, it's all expensive. Yeah, Metapan's not the best sound cool, Kevin. Hundred dollars for a fucking boom arm, or like a mic arm. One hundred thirty dollars for a damn green screen. This is Elgato. Uh, well, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, they Corsair Elgato, like, Elgato. listen, like, I use Elgato products, but even I agree, it, like, this is a little much to do for what's basically a standard-ass boom arm. Yeah, I could solve that in many ways. It's called, uh, Amazon. $20 tops. That Damn. was easy. Yeah, at that point, you're just buying a brand at that point, you know? It's like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Also, how many times have I fucking hit the select button thinking that was a shortcut to the bicycle? And it's like, not in this gen, dude. You gotta keep manually selecting that shit. Where's the fucking... $150 ring light. Sparrow. Where's the Mr. Mime character again? He was in the uh, house somewhere. Yeah, he's in the house past the Dickless past Tunnel. Dickless, oh, right, right. Okay. Elgato is like Apple's uh, apt comparison, Razor. Just for a heavy bottom base plate for, you know, other products. Yeah. The base plate is $40. Jesus. It's just a fucking... <laughs> it's just a little plate. <laughs> yeah, but they don't expect you to know that, dude. Like, they... They're... they're... Now, why would I waste $40 for, you know, a heavy plate when a brick can solve that at the same time? All right. And then don't get me started on the the fucking 4K 60s plus. Like it's cool that that's all you need. You don't need a computer uh, at all. But at the same time, why is it four hundred fucking dollars? I could literally just go get an Ava Media 4K capture card, stick it in the PC. Does Ava Media oh, still they... make shit? Yes, I think they do. Hmm. Okay, they do. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Oh, Rave. Uh, Rave, I'm doing just fine. Thank you very much. Uh, we are currently about to head into SSN, but I'm doing a quick trade real quick before I decide to move on. I think what I'm going to do in SSN is just switch out Abra for like every other battle. Just like a manually level them up. And then when I get to 15, I'll give them the candy. Candy. A rare candy. Okay, so it's a we're rare, working on the living. I should probably clarify. We're working on the living decks, and I'm not so much thinking about how I'm gonna get these Pokemon to like Gen Seven. I'm just trying to make a living deck for Gen One. Like that's yeah. the goal right now. I'm not really worried about or caring about like fucking. How are you gonna get in the Pokemon home? I don't care right now. I'm just look. I'm just worried about making the living decks for Gen One. Don't worry about it, I've got us covered. Yeah, Aver Media has their own version of like, the stream deck. And let's see how expensive it is. So the stream deck through Elgato, so let's say the stream deck plus ever went to trainer uh the stream deck plus is two hundred dollars and then aver media's stream deck equivalent is 350. Mm. Hmm. Uh, nothing personal, Mr. Mine, but um, I think we need to start you with a workout regimen. <laughs> <laughs> My boy looking kind of thick! I think you've put on some winter weight, honey. I think you've put on some Marcel! <laughs> Fucking eating all the Cadbury eggs again. Uh, named after Marcel Marceau. Is that like a famous clown or a famous mime? Yeah, famous mime. Okay, cool. 
Did not know that. I'm not really uh, up to date with, uh, you know, mime lore. <laughs> <laughs> How does a mime get famous? I mean, they put on one hell of a show. You know, at that point, you have to ask, it's like, well, how the fuck do, like, sports players get famous? All they do is, like, play sports. <laughs> they play sports very well. Uh, all right. Let's go to the Pokemon Center. Let's go look at our items and deposit and restock on anything that we might need to. I don't think we need to because I think we I haven't used any of those super potions that I bought earlier. Bum, bum, ba, dum, bum. Uh, Surgeon Dragon says, I usually don't trust any off-brand capture card from Amazon because most of them don't have heat sinks. I mean, it's an excellent point. Fucking, if, if, if a capture card or what have you did not have a heat sink, that thing is dying in like what? Like how, how long do you think it would take for uh, some piece of hardware to just fucking shut down because it doesn't have a heat sink? Uh, I mean, it depends on whether or not it'll thermal throttle. Hmm. Triforce has 11 minutes. So basically, a, a whole ass SpongeBob episode. So, for example, uh, Jen, whenever she was upgrading her PC, she didn't have enough mounting pressure on her air cooler for her CPU. So it wasn't getting, you know, adequate pressure. So it wasn't radiating that heat away. And so it thermal throttled at once it hit 100 degrees Celsius. Oh. And um, instead of it hitting its normal 4.2 gigahertz, it hits 0 0.1. Okay, so <laughs> one, wait, wait, I gotta deposit my 100 megahertz tops. Okay, so N64 era, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> She tried booting up 14, and it was going at like 2 FPS. Oh. A minute? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to put this nugget in the box, too, so I won't be tempted to sell it. No, not my bike! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> uh, I'm not going to sell it uh, yet, Emily. I'm going to duplicate it later. Exactly. Free monies. Dude, I just fucking shoved the whole ass bike into a hard drive. And you know, we're gonna need it for the game corner shit. <laughs> Ugh, yeah, because we're we're I'm like spoiler warning, we're buying our way into Porygon. <laughs> we have to support the illegal Porygon trade after, <laughs> after the incident back in '98. <laughs> just fucking smashed it into the monitor, man. It was like it's not going in. Instructions unclear, bike stuck in hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let me take a look at my team. We have War Turtle, Pecnic, the Mew, but we're not using the Mew, though. Now we're keeping it for HM and nothing more. Yeah, um, we have Pikachu, we have Trios. Uh, we're going to switch to... Pikachu for the time? Just flash the SS and take it. Uh, uh. uh, we'll get the drowsy on our uh, on our way towards that anyway. Like when, when we're progressing through routes, we'll worry about Pokemon and different routes. Because I'm not going to be using the drowsy right now for the main team, Emily. So, I might as well progress with the story in the meantime. <laughs> What's up? Uh, someone did a video on fucking Project uh, Milo. What, the, the Toll demo that wasn't real? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so from bullshit to utter bullshit, how bullshit we talking was it? It's just, it's it's just funny because I'm like yeah that was a thing. 
I remember when that was first revealed. So people were like, oh god, no, Microsoft's got the thing to counter Nintendo and Sony. And I'm thinking, there's no fucking way on earth they're getting the 360 to do this with those kinds of camera to. Oh, look, it's complete horse cock. Oh, fuck. fuck, tree is burned. Oh, shit. Hurt by Don't the burn. Give me to the hospital. Give me to the hospital. <laughs> no. Have you been. Oh, have you no, been you're, you're not in America. You can afford it. Exactly. Fuck, man. Now I'm depressed. Fucking, I go for an overnight stay in uh, an emergency room because of COVID and I get charged fucking two grand. You're gonna cause the boat to sink by digging holes in it. <laughs> No, no, it's fine. We're just going through like the floorboards on like the upper levels. We're not actually digging into the hole. Well, I feel bad. I mean, you ran into me. To be fair, dude, you fucking burned me. Which one is my bed? I did not break into his room. No, I didn't burk into his room, Rave. The door was open. Wow. Even in the 90s, I guess they didn't have key card technology <laughs> for these for these fucking rooms. No, no, no. Good Metal Gear Solid was the thing. That was the 90s. Or yeah, wait, no. RFID chips. <laughs> the yeah. healing bed is only in the remakes. Oh. It's like Fudge. fucking, um. Anytime I get annoyed by, like, someone who's at least two or three times my age where they run to the store, but they leave the fucking house door unlocked. Gotta fucking lock my ass. Because just like, Damn. oh, I I'm only going to be gone 10 minutes. Yeah, and someone can still break into your house in the 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, burn reduced the tag, didn't it? Yep. Okay. Where'd they go? What the boat doing? Oh, it cuts the tag in half. Good lord. Is that both physical and special? Or is that uh, just physical? This is pre-special split, so it would just be physical. Rude child. Dug into the dude's bed, too. <laughs> I guess things were different growing up in the 80s and 70s versus now. Nowadays, you leave your car door unlocked. And the door's open, along with your trunk open if you live in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, the amount of fucking so uh, window bashes that go on when people trying to steal stuff out your car. <laughs> but no, thank you for the phone. Even mid-driving. Have you seen those videos? I don't think I have. Yeah, like, someone was, um, you know, like, making a, a left at a, uh, on a turn or whatever. Fuck, man, was and it was, like, one of those slow turns, and so it was so damn slow that someone behind them rushed out their car, bashed out the window, <laughs> and took a bag out from the <laughs> back Jesus of the car, Christ. and then, you know, drove off. I'm just like, holy shit, man. Hey, Donald, thank you for the tier one. Much appreciate it. I'm sorry, is this San Francisco or freaking Compton? <laughs> Uh, Emily, uh, uh, GTA in real life. there's no bed to heal on in uh, OG Pokemon Blue and Red. Unless chat's lying, but I don't know. It's hard to say. <laughs> We're not calling you liars. We're just calling you objectively questionable. <laughs> I mean, yesterday chat also said that Professor Oak doesn't give you Pokeballs. <laughs> it's like Spiel's like, wait, what are we lying about?
only wealthy passengers get healing but what the fuck dude look i got I, I, like hold on a second what the f i'm not wealthy i have five grand on me <laughs> don't convert those dollars by the way no it is five thousand three hundred and fifty dollars no, it's actually a Kroner, so it's more like 30. No, no conversion. There's no such thing as yen. No, lemonade, like $500. <laughs> Need more credit. What the fuck? Even here, can't have shit in Kanto, man. Next time, think about that before you become peasants. Be glad we don't do Zimbabwean dollars. Like, how bad, right. how bad are we talking, actually? Because I don't know the exchange rate of... I mean, get a wheelbarrow says... of money, and you can't even afford bread. What the fuck? He's not lying. <laughs> you just can't in Kanto. I like that. <laughs> One euro is equivalent of 357 Zimb <laughs> Zimbabwean dollars? What? Well, no, but actually, what's it called? What's the currency actually called? I lie all the time. The question is, am I lying about that? Oh, man. One one tells the truth, the other one tells a lie. It could be worse. Your currency could be fucking crypto. This is in Bob Bucks. <laughs> man, I gotta say, even in this year of 2023, as a 35-year-old man, I still have no fucking clue how cryptocurrency works. And I don't think I ever want to. I just see it everywhere I fucking go now, and it's like, no, nah, I'm even talking about it before NFT because cryptocurrency was a thing before NFTs. One just kind of like acts as a vehicle for the other, though. Now at this point, I at least understand crypto, the super dog. <laughs> It's buy the dip and hopefully don't go bankrupt. But what the fuck is dip? No, like something that you put a chip in? Because that to me is dip. Uh, so like, I think the worst part of crypto is that hmm. back in middle school, I did a fucking like, not like a, a book report, but you know, just like a, um, hey, this is something I found that's neat. <laughs> and I did it on crypto. And that was back whenever... You had to spend like, I think it was like a couple hundred uh, coins just for a slice of pizza. And it's like, man, if only I had known back then <laughs> to even invest like 50 bucks, I'd be a millionaire right now. <laughs> like Superman came from Planet Krypton. <laughs> but that's spell with a C. Oh no. <laughs> Where's the fail pill at? Well, no, the fail pill is the one next to the captain. Uh, crypto is stocks, but it's not a company. It's a currency that is not physically real. So it's just a it's just a digital currency then, from what I yes. I, I gather from that. It's a digital currency that has no real world value. So yes. why is it such a big deal? The value of it comes from people yeah, using, using it, it for it. purchases. Okay, um, so th the value is what people think it's worth. Yeah. That's, oh, of, that is money in a nutshell. Yeah, that's essentially, <laughs> yeah, the, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Have you ever heard of something called the tulip scam? A what? A tulip scam. Tulip. No, I have not. All right, so I'm going back like several hundred years. Someone artificially inflated the prices of tulips, okay. and then people thought, Oh hey, there's a gold rush of tulips. We should all buy this up, and it generated a cottage industry of people growing and selling tulips. And then the bottom fell out. All the tulips were worthless, and all that sweet, sweet cottage industry money vanished overnight. Mm -hmm. 
But the basis of that kind of thing is the foundation for every scam you've heard in the last several hundred years. I mean, that's kind of the issue where we're like, this arbitrary thing is worth this. Why? Because you agree with me and now it, <laughs> it has value. <laughs> you do agree with me, right? <laughs> Cox the gun. It is partially because we don't have any concrete evidence, but the foundation of what the myth was is again still <laughs> Ponzi <I> has <laughs> entered the chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah no, that's, that's, that's all currency. All currency in a nutshell is just it has value because you agree that it does. John, what would you do if all this were the top Porygon suddenly appeared? No, I mean, if that's the method of getting Porygon to summon, like, in the wild instead of having to do the game corner, then fuck it, I will talk crypto for days. I just don't understand what the fuck it is, even after so many years of hearing about it, you know? And now that I have heard about it, it sounds really dumb. <laughs> it's a decentralized currency, meaning yeah. that it's not tied to any specific government entity. Meanwhile, government entities are trying to make their own crypto, completely missing the point <laughs> entirely. Crypto is only crypto because it is untethered by the government. Is that how it works? Because it's not a government official currency. Well, government That's the that yeah. was the idea. That's the idea for it. So, but if but if, if, but if like, the fuck, if, but that. if a government's like, I want to do that. It's like, right, that's just money. <laughs> no, not bison dollars. Although I'd fucking invest in bison dollars. Only digitally, though, because they're not worth the paper they're printed on. And then, of course, you know, instead of a government body printing more money so there's more in circulation, instead you have, you know, your your coins on the chain and shit. Yeah. And you are able to, quote unquote, mint slash acquire the coins by doing heavy mathematical equations. Heavy and they get, mathematical. Yes, they get harder and harder with each one minted. So that's supposed to like regulate. <laughs> Victor, I'll How name Porygon Crypto Bro for you. Also, <laughs> fuck you. Crypto Bro. <laughs> Gonna name him yeah. fucking Ethereum. And there's crypto like a lot stupid. of fucking different cryptocurrencies out there, isn't there, too? Like, yes, because everyone wants to do something with it. Yeah. And like, not, not only that, but. <laughs> There's people who use it because they know it's a fad at mm. this time instead of actually being a legitimate thing like it was supposed to have been. And so people are just using it as like Ponzi schemes where it's not even actually a actual like currency where you can put money in, put money out, exchange. You know, you can exchange a currency. But there's a lot of crypto <laughs> uh, coins out there where you can't cash out. You can put money in, and then they run with your fucking money. <laughs> Come back! <laughs> when everyone has crypto, no one does. Uh, need I remind you of one coin? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly what it sounds. It's just one, but you gotta swap it with other or what else every once in a while. Uh, one coin scams people out of four billion dollars. Man, one coin did that. <laughs> so it was this woman that was like champion it as a uh, secure cryptocurrency that can never be broken into or whatever. Uh, and you know your wallets can never be hacked or anything and it can be used across the world and all this shit and has the fastest transaction speeds and all that and uh now the woman is on a most wanted list and <laughs> no one knows where she's at <laughs> i think she might have digitally uploaded herself onto the internet and become the one coin i left it all in one coin <laughs> <laughs> 
The one coin yeah. is real. Yeah, hey, you're under arrest. Oh. oh. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh no, breaking news. Hmm. Uh, looks like she was recently found. Finally, oh, okay. last month. Interesting. Alive? Dead? <laughs> Alive. <laughs> okay. Argentina? Uh, let's see. I'm just taking a guess here. I'm just... In Johnny's apartment. <laughs> he snuck into Georgia when we went looking. What a bitch. Oh, that explains the Black Widow. Which one? <laughs> uh, <laughs> just the one, thankfully. Actually, no, that was just the legal and compliance officer for OneCoin. The actual founder of OneCoin seems to still not be around. Don't ever catch him alive. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yo, yeah, she disappeared yo. <laughs> October 2017 and has not been seen since. And you know what's even more hilarious? What's so that? not only did she scam, you know, what was it? I said like four, yeah, four billion dollars worldwide from some of the richest motherfuckers out there. That wasn't even her first fucking time doing it. Oh man! <laughs> I mean, if I could get away with it once, and you get a, you, you fucking grow bold. People just don't do fucking background checks. Mm. Of uh, hmm, what has this person done previously? That also the best because you're rich doesn't mean you're smart. <laughs> yeah, look you at can't the buy intelligence, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this isn't even my final scam. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, like watch as she comes back like ten years later to do a new crypto scale. <laughs> and she paints her son gold. <laughs> it's like nobody gets it. Nobody understands me. Would Otacon make Otacoin? I don't Otacon doesn't strike me as someone that would make a cryptocurrency. Uh Huey definitely strikes me as someone that makes cryptocurrency. Maybe how, but no, definitely how Huey. How would buy it. <laughs> yeah, how would buy it? <laughs> Huey would make it, how would buy it. <laughs> <laughs> and then Snake just makes fun of him for it. <laughs> Do you think cryptocurrency can bloom on the battlefield, Snake? <laughs> oh, Nikon, you got scammed, you fucking, like, you, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> The crypto exchange busted, <laughs> Rip Bozo. Yeah, I'll fucking do it again, dude. All right, that takes care of this hallway. <laughs> Metal Gear Ethereum actually sounds hardcore as fuck, though. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess we go down the... No, because we go down here, I think this is where the kitchen's at. Yeah, it's where the kitchen's at, so we're going down the stairs next. We going for the Great Bowl? Yeah, we, we, we already got it. I was already in the kitchen earlier. This leads to the deck, I think. Yeah, here it is. All right, this is. These are all sailors and fishermen, if I recall. So, uh, Pikachu is going to get a lot of use here. <laughs> the apes check. <laughs> you think uh, Raiden would buy crypto? No, he would definitely be confused by it, though. Dude, getting seasick is the fucking worst. And say about the pleasure. I've been deep sea fishing one time and only one time. 
it was like 20 years ago and I was so goddamn miserable. Yeah, it sounds like a fun time. The kids' Wait. brains were uploaded to become NFTs and <laughs> not be child soldiers. Holy shit. Welcome to some comment down the stream. We hope these conversations don't scare you. Oh, no, these conversations are actually going to get even stupider. Uh, as we get into the very tedious part of the gameplay. I mean, it's already very tedious considering the stipulation, but, you know, there was a gag that we had. Back when I was streaming during weekdays, we normally have the RPG stuff on Wednesdays, and those, for some reason or another, mainly because of Linky, just got really horny. Like, for, f for fuck's sake, we listened to, like, the Wizard of Oz porn parody. Well, we listened to a song from the Wizard of Oz Porn Parody. I mean, that shit's funny. That's, that shit still lives in my head, dude. And uh, the Driller Man. Yeah. I don't remember Driller Man. <laughs> the, the Thriller knockoff. Oh. <laughs> uh, Pumpkin, it just gets like, a, even on his own you know, Linky stream, it just goes weird. Throwing Linky under the truck? Yeah, every single time. When we're talking about being horny on chat, like, <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is literally Linky we throw under the bus. Dude, our fuck, we, the bonk emote is made in honor of Linky being horny. Because uh, the character getting bonked on that emote is Linky. Who's the bird? Nora? Yeah, uh, the bird is uh, representative of Nora. <laughs> I like it with the Ryu face. <laughs> Am I horny? All the fucking time, but I know when to keep it down. What do you mean, keep it down? It's always As up. in, I'm not fucking showing my boner <laughs> on the webcam. That's exactly what it sounds like. Ah, so it's like Breaking Bad. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny, you know how you know you gotta control your losses. If I do, fuck it, if I didn't, I would have broken TOS years ago. Nah, you, you never break TOS. You just have Matt accidentally dox himself. <laughs> <laughs> I still get like some sort of anxiety when he like doesn't mute his mic. <laughs> right. And he's taking care of something. And Oscar is like, Fuck, don't fucking let him fucking order another pizza. He's going to dox himself again. <laughs> New to the streams of this is so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, there was one stream forever ago where Matt accidentally doxed himself. It was an impromptu. Was it was an impromptu Crash Bandicoot three stream. I remember that much. Uh, okay, was it Crash or was it Mega Man? No, it was Crash Bandicoot uh, three. Okay. I was just playing that for shits and giggles, and Matt decided in the stream he wanted to order a pizza, and he didn't fucking mute his mic and he said his phone number out loud. Oh, I remember that when the entire chat was yelling at them. <laughs> Mute. Don't delete the VOD. Ben's like, oh, that's why they sold the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, after that was done, like, I had to immediately delete that VOD. Like, you were pissed. I was, <laughs> dude, I was fucking angry. It was like, <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> like, it, it was years ago, to grant it, you know, so it's like, who cares at this point? But it's like, like man, <laughs> I've only seen you. People will be malicious with that info. Yeah. I mean, I've only seen you pissed off like that one other fucking time. <laughs> I don't even recall. Uh, those shenanigans like behind the scenes with an event or whatever. Mm, okay, yeah. 
Uh, I might know what you're talking about, but I'm not going to bring that up. Yeah. It's not a bad headspace when it happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was in my dark spine space. <laughs> 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 Fucking get angry for two seconds and I realize hey, it ain't that big of a deal. God damn it. That is scary. Not as scary as you're letting your mic on while you're in the bathroom. No, see, that was funny, though, Henry. That's why my fucking... So for for context of that one, because this gets brought up almost every stream now, I think, about it. Uh, I was hanging out with a group of friends, and I wanted to go up and get... I wanted to get up and take a piss. I didn't meet my mic, though. So they heard me taking a piss in the bathroom, and uh, for like a whole week, my Discord name in that server was caught pissing in 4K. So, uh, Damn, boy, were you just frying chicken in there? <laughs> <laughs> For real, though. You piss loud as fuck. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> 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 You're just the, the fucking Mario. Time to take a pee. <laughs> <laughs> now, but ever since that happened, though, now I get really fucking paranoid. Like, I will. I will mute my mic, get up and go to the and start walking to the bathroom, but I'll fucking double check, triple check my mic to make sure the light is red. <laughs> Damn, that's one mighty pickup pattern. <laughs> I can't even fry chicken anymore without laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Or that one time fucking Linky was cooking bacon in his closet. <laughs> you have to speak up. I'm speaking up this. <laughs> Wait, what was that? One more time with Linky? Linky cooking bacon. And, uh, or was that Linky or Donnie? That was cooking bacon in their closet. <laughs> I think it was Donnie. Because we had a gag for a while where Donnie just lives in a closet. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because we're talking about like. I think it was one stream, it was years ago, we were talking about like getting a can of soda, but he didn't get up to go anywhere. So I figured, he was like, what do you do? You just knock on the door and it comes out of a mail slot? <laughs> like, what, like, do you just live in a fucking closet, dude? Oh my god, we've been doing this for almost a decade. Yes, we have, actually. Uh, Christ. <laughs> I remember like some of the earliest days where I learned how to do streaming for the first time. Uh, the one who taught me how to do it was Entom, uh, Hellfire Cobbs. Uh, and Tom, uh, he introduced me to streaming via, I forgot the fuck, I, I mean, I think Twitch was still just in TV at this point. Because when did Twitch become Twitch? Uh, it became Twitch in 2014. Okay, yeah, so just before it became Twitch, uh, I learned how to stream to Justin TV. And after that, I, I mean, I was very sporadic with it as I am nowadays, uh, so nothing has ever changed. But yeah, like I just, I, I, I just started streaming, and then I ended up really liking doing it. Because to me, like, there's always a, there's still, there, to me, in my eyes, there's always going to be a place for like the dedicated let's play, especially if you like put your time and effort into it, like something like what, what Chuck Conroy does. You know, uh, where he is not just making a let's play, he's also just straight up making a fucking video guide uh, for the games that he plays. But to me, live streaming is fun because of the interactive element with it. You know, I'm not only just playing a game, but I'm also getting to interact with you guys. And it's it's fun seeing you guys react to the shit that happens on screen or what comes out of our mouths. Sometimes at the same time. <laughs> Do I remember my blip account? I sure do. I had a blip account for a short time. This was back before Johnny Versus was even a thing. Blip? What do I feel like I should know that? It was it used to be a... What, what, what would you call blip? Was it just a... Uh, it was like another it. YouTube before yeah. it just fell off the face of the earth. Well, it remember it on itself. You may remember it as home to such great names as... Dog Walker. Yeah, I mean, Blip is the only reason why I, uh, Channel <laughs> Channel Awesome and uh, Doug Walker is the only reason why I knew about Blip in the first place. Same. Yeah. <laughs> Same. 
and I remember like we, we 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 moved to Blip for a little bit because we were part of this group for a little bit. It was called like the Geek Fighters or something like that, and that didn't last very long. We didn't make very vid- we didn't make a lot of videos under that umbrella anyway. But we did upload almost exclusively to Blip for a bit, and uh, only later did I upload them to YouTube. But not even then, I didn't upload all of them. The No More Heroes videos on SGB, I think, are gone. Well, if they weren't archived, then yeah, they'll be yeah, gone. Yeah, but I mean, that's fine. I was going to redo those videos anyway at some point or another. And uh, like yeah, so. Marcy, I did make my original Metroid Prime review for Geek Fighters. Absolutely. That's a deep cut. Um, I mean, don't forget the fucking Google Hangouts Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, Google Extreme. Hangouts. That was a time. Like, we were just right. It was a very experimental era uh, when it came to, like, finding a live stream provider that was consistent. And Google Hangouts was like, yeah, everyone's got webcams, but also everyone here has terrible fucking <laughs> lighting choreography with their cameras. Like, we're all nerds here. I remember at one point. Like forever ago, whenever you guys are about to hit your 1,000th video on Brain Scratch, and I was like doing the the numbers in my head, I'm like, wait a second, your 1,000th video is gonna come out on 9/11. Then <laughs> <laughs> you replied back with, no, there's gonna be a couple videos that, that go out same day, <laughs> so it won't be that day. <laughs> I mean, at the same time, who cares? Like, I don't even know why I fucking, like, responded about that sort of thing. You can't fucking yeah. upload on this day. Pearl Harbor was attacked on this day. <laughs> Milestone more like tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, you shouldn't upload on any day. Someone died that day. <laughs> yeah, but trios. One's a tragedy, two's the statistic. You know. Isn't there? Isn't that the stream where John admitted to being a brony? I admitted to watching MLP a couple of times, multiple times. Yeah, multiple yeah. times. Like ten yeah. years. Granted, it was like fucking hell, dude. Those were like twelve oh, years Christ. ago. No, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's an old image. Yeah. Um, because I started watching MLP. And granted, I didn't. I ended up not finishing that show. I only watched like the first season. Um, no, look at what Santiago posted. Oh, well, what's up? I'll take a look. It's in a book. Jesus Christ! Oh that's God! Only, <laughs> that's only has the pretty boy look, though. Ryan looks so happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, but look, look at how I'm fucking look how baby face Ted is in that image. Yeah, He's such a happy <laughs> I mean, Ted was young, young. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Also, he's got a very nice collection of bug roll in the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, I, I love how like only you and Lewis actually have your mics pointed towards your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were Ted's oh, yeah. eyebrows always that thick? Yes. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> no, I'm pretty you know. sure his eyebrows have receded into his long hair now. Because <laughs> Ter- like, Ted has fucking metal as shit hair, like his hair is long. <laughs> long much longer than mine. Lewis is gamer hair. <laughs> <laughs> he still has that hairstyle, by the way. Because I actually I saw Lewis recently, and he, he he still has that fucking haircut. I mean, didn't he for a time want the Leon look? <laughs> I, 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 I guess. I, I think that's just his natural hairstyle, though. I didn't even know you watched MLP. Huh? Oh fuck! Did I not use it? I fucking did not. Yeah, I'm out of uh, I'm out of PP. Remember Ooh, that Street Blue time. started playing Persona <laughs> Four with the webcam to screen quality. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was terrible because we didn't have. I don't think any of us had or any idea of what the hell Elgato was because that was still during Hop Hog uh, uh, yeah. uh, recordings. <laughs> Up hog and dazzle. Yeah, da- oh my god, dazzle. Uh, can we not? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am going to bring out trios. Okay, I'm doing it. Go on, trios, you can do it. Dig him a grave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh shit, how do I get out? I said dig him a grave. <laughs> Just underwater. 
what was before Dazzle uh, old VHS players that had a recording feature? Yeah. Oh, oh DVDs. Kadabra. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, don't, I, I can actually no because Kadabra has piss poor defense, so I can just take exactly. Trios. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, Trios can outspeed and kill it in one hit. Yeah. Teleport. I oh, will teleport you though, right? <laughs> Hop in. John, are you out of curiosity? Are you yeah. playing just one game per gen, or you get the yellow two? No, we're playing one game per gen. Unless I, I absolutely have to play multiple games to complete the the decks. So Gen two will. Probably be fine. I have yeah. an idea for that. It's going to be a bit complicated, but if we can pull it off, it'll be beautiful. Yeah. Although, Gen 3, though, ah, that's multiple games no matter what. Jason, that was an extremely long way of saying VCR. <laughs> ben! I was born in 97! <laughs> they were going out of style by then! No, not true. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, yeah. they, they, they had a couple of years before DVD. Yeah, and in those players. couple of years, that's whenever I started I actually have to remind memories. myself that I'm surrounded by children. Like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah. It feels bad. Yeah, I think, well, no, it's, it's funny because with Trios being here, and I'm now no longer the oldest person in the Discord because uh, Trios is older by me by like, I think, a year or two. Yeah, I'm turning 37. Just turning 37. About, okay, so about close about, to two years. Yeah. Hey, I'll take third place. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's okay, John. Uh, whenever I first started watching your, your content, I was in middle school. My sister's five years younger than me, and she's about to graduate college. <laughs> <laughs> Time it progresses. <laughs> Thirty-five. Hey, congrats! You are halfway done your life cycle. <laughs> Dude, like uh, when I was done this school year, my uh, my co-teacher just pointed out you're closer to your forties than your thirties, and I just <laughs> fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. Why would you say that? Why did you look in the vomit bucket? <laughs> what were you expecting? Why not? Well, vomit. All right, I'm going to get to the cut. I'm 31 now. Why did you look in the fail pail? <laughs> <laughs> what, were you expecting to reach your hands in there and find a key? Yes. <laughs> this is That's a fucking it. jigsaw <laughs> trap. <laughs> I started watching you when I was 28. And I'm still 28. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord. My god. Just think of it. All because I watched some fucking nerd talk about video games. <laughs> Just started doing this shit. Now that's the way to talk about yourself. Yeah, you're not a nerd. You're a loser. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The two can't co They can't coexist. You're either one or the other. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure those should be synonymous, but you know. Bye, ship. Probably won't ever see you again. Wait. Fret not. We can still <laughs> run into the truck later, as Experiment has said. That sailor thinks he could stop us. <laughs> <laughs> He's funny. Well, since we now need cut, it's time for Linky to earn his paycheck. All right. Well, let's go back to the Pokemon Center first. I need an adult. Wait, no, I'm now an adult. What the fuck? <laughs> He's an adult. God help us all. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off, boat. <laughs> God, I'm trying to think of how long I have known you personally. Uh, well, let me let me let me frame it this way. You helped me build my first PC in 2015. And at that point, we were not really friend friends, but we were acquainted. Yeah. So, I mean, I've been modding for you at the very least since, like, one of the early... Um, yeah. Final Fantasy... Jesus Christ. One of the early Final Fantasy VII... Um, oh, the one that did with Nathan? On Twitch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, years ago. Yeah, that was... Damn. My god, like uh, my my quality in that is fucking atrocious. Let me think. <laughs> Earliest interactions was Nintendo Farm eight years ago now. Main was 2018, 2019 with Pokemon Gen 2. Then it was the races, then it was the charity stuff, and now we're here. And the two review things. I don't remember how I meet most people. <laughs> Except for a couple of exceptions. The uh, setting up the DS emulator and fixing Gen 5 Part 2. Well, yeah, but that was oof, 
Well, I came to you because we were already acquainted, and we I knew I knew you already were good at that kind of shit. Right, oh, we won't have to do that again when we get to Gen Five. <laughs> Uh, I met Ben at a TMG. Uh, he approached me for the extra life stuff. I said, yeah, we've been friends since. <laughs> That's literally it. How'd you meet Ellie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the day Ellie was born, actually. Uh, I remember uh, back when I lived in my parents' house and uh, hearing the... the so our, our, our house was above another uh, house, so if you didn't know how to get inside, you had to ring a doorbell. If the doorbell wasn't working, you had to throw a rock at the window, <laughs> the second floor window, to get someone's attention. And, you blew uh, the fucking window out. Yeah. And uh, it, was, uh, it was my grandpa, Joe. Uh, he informed us that uh, L.A. was born, and they said, it's a boy. I was like, yay. It's your boy. Go, Brick. Go, <laughs> <laughs> oh, catalytic converter. Wait, 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 wait. I still need that. Did you also hold a boombox? No, I did not. It wasn't me that I asked it. Uh, Elliot, uh, Elliot and I do not share the same mom. Uh, Elliot is from uh, my father, Steve's side of the family. My family is basically Brady Bunch, only Hispanic and uh, a little more splintered. But uh, that's essentially how it works, yeah. Did you waste the last half of the episode saying goodnight to each other? Yes. <laughs> All my yarn cousins have been girls so far, but I don't let it stop me. Try to get them into the hobby. Uh, my, my youngest cousin, River, uh, she's turning five this year. Uh, I believe. I'm trying to get her into games, too. Like, come on, man. <laughs> I mean, uh, my brother, who has three kids with three different women, anyway, uh, he's currently living in Denmark, so I can't get his kids into games, which is just uh, pretty pity. Uh, can't say I have that luxury. Only child and now the last of the family line. Dude, I'm the, the oldest. The bloodline dies with me. <laughs> it literally does. Oh, dear. Man, I'm not the oldest of seven, so... Yeah, That's I'm a. Fun. I've had this discussion before, and I don't think it's getting like too personal or this sort of thing. But I don't ever plan on having a kid. I understand. One, that. I don't think I'd be a great father, and two, I'm too fucking selfish. <laughs> like I, I'm Sorry. just gonna say it straight up: I'm too fucking selfish, dude. Like, and I, and uh, I don't, I don't. No. <laughs> I mean, I've been just uh, me and my best friend uh, just had this kid and uh, his two boys and. Yeah, that kind of has made me go, I'm good. I think I'll just live, live with myself. And also, I'm a great school teacher. That's so okay. You, yeah. I value money. <laughs> that, yeah, that's the cat, best part about are. having kids. Yeah. You, you never realize whenever you're going to have one. <laughs> well, so far, oh. I haven't had any knocking on my door. So good. Uh, Stevie's doing okay. Fucking Stevie is doing just fine. Like... Like, I think out of all of us, I think, like, in terms of, like, job security and all that sort of shit, he made it out the best. Like, he is living a very comfortable life uh, right now. But, but you know, we're still, we, we still talk to each other all the damn time. Stevie helps me get a lot of discounts for a lot of shit, too, though. Uh, where the fuck? I gotta open cans up. No, Stevie's not a mill. Fuck, I fucking wish. It's like, get me out of debt, motherfucker. Please. At this point, just being secure about your, in, about your finances is a massive win for people. No, just, people jo like. just job security in general. Like, not mm -hmm. even, like, financial security. I mean, that's always nice, too, but fucking job security. You know that you don't have yeah. to fucking worry about losing your job and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Such as me, worried that I may be replaced by AI soon. Was it, uh... Oh, good. It's I'm either this one good. or this one. Experiment, give me one. Uh, Left. No, fuck. Nope. I won't. I mean, actually, I'm pretty secure with my job because, well, <laughs> I've got a permanent contract right now and salary. Uh, considering all changes that don't every mean week, anything. All <laughs> changes either every week to nearly every day. What the hell, security? Oh dear. So, John, since you always bring back your dad selling your SNES collection for the PS1, now that you're an adult and rich, did you buy it back? No. Get this shit though. 
because he never learned. He tried to do it again. Just as of a couple of months ago, he tried to sell my brother Mark's PS4 for another PS5. <laughs> Jesus Wait. Christ. And it's well, like, I mean, he has a PS4. He has a PS4 and a PS5. Oh. And he tried to trade Mark's PS4. Because well, he, he gonna figured Mark the PS5? Mark already has a PS5. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, you don't fucking sell shit without telling anybody. <laughs> Well, that, no, that, no, <laughs> but at least, like, if you already have a PS5, I can understand selling your PS4, because the PS5 is pretty much a PS4 Pro. Right, you right. Know? But you don't fucking I, that, do it understand. under the table. But under the table without them knowing. Yeah, I know, that's bullshit. <laughs> that's bullshit. <laughs> Mark chewed him the fuck out, though, like, when you, like, you try to fuck it out, because my mom can't keep her mouth shut. <laughs> about no, that I'm sort of thing you. it's like i get it if you're if, if you, you can pull one under my you pull the rug under me because i'm only like what was it 1996 i was like nine years old when he first did it but mark's fucking 31 no 32 <laughs> no he's 33 <laughs> he's 33 <laughs> like, I was gonna say, like why, why do you think you're gonna get away with that I helped raise you in this world. <laughs> I have claimed to ever. Do you know how much you owe me? <laughs> you, might have me this this world. you might have brought me into this world, old man, but that doesn't mean I can't fucking take you out. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I don't understand that kind of mentality. Beyond people. <laughs> it's, I'm fucking cheap! <laughs> <laughs> That's the mentality. <laughs> money, 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 money. He already has that one. What's going to do with the other? PS5? Sell it, probably. To some homie for like six hundred dollars. <laughs> Good lord. I mean, it's a problem. <laughs> Sean's dead. <laughs> Still got it. <laughs> <laughs> Still sold it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, Steve is very much a hustler. Much to every GameStop employee's annoyance. <laughs> My dad will hustle the fuck out of you for a good deal. There was one time, I shit you not, I am not kidding when I say this, when he was getting uh, my mom a new car because the other one was old and was uh, way overdue. We went to a Kia dealership. And he hustled this guy for nine fucking hours just Jesus to try Christ. and get the he and he, he won like he got the deal that he wanted to get because I think at that point they got like, get this fucker out of here please oh my god I mean yeah my dad will talk your fucking ear off just to get the best deal and he it works. It does work. Now, it doesn't work on us because, like, you're full of shit. <laughs> you know the guy. But yeah, I was going to say. But they don't know that. He sounds Spartan. insane. <laughs> Spartan, let me tell you a thing or two about haggling with car salesmen. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, like I, I run into those kinds of folks in my line of work as well, of like demanding for their cable to be cheaper and shit. Oh my god! And once they have me on the line for like so much time, I'll just like DM uh, a supervisor and be like, "Hey, you want to listen to this?" They just keep going on about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll just terminate the, and eventually they'll just straight up terminate the call on the customer <laughs> like thank god how often do the, the customer call back though <laughs> if they call back it's not my problem yeah 
<laughs> Someone else is probably at that point. Uh, it is time to evolve Pikachu because we learned Thunderbolt, and that's the only thing I really care about uh, Pikachu learning. Uh, I mean, even then, it's a TM, so we could we could just give it to Raichu no matter what. But uh, that's about it, though. I think the only thing of worth that Pikachu learns is Thunder, but that's not until forty, I think. And that's a TM. And, and it's a T. Yeah, I think it's another TM. Like I think Thunder is at the no, Thunder is at forty-one. Sorry. Yeah, you get it at Celadon. Uh, Cosmic Time Lord, uh, Linky, uh, as in the Mew that we caught. The HM Slav. The HM Slav <laughs> is level 100 <laughs> thanks to uh, it, it's underflow, right? Yeah, yeah, yep. it's a, uh, it's an underflow glitch. Uh, Mew, for oh, all yeah. intents and purposes, for this playthrough is our HM Slav. We're not really using Mew for anything. <laughs> it's a Slav. Yeah. Uh, let me go back to the shop. <laughs> We're gonna stream for like another 20 or so minutes before we call it for today, because I have to get something to eat and then I have to get ready for the community night Q&A. Yeah. And like, basically, we caught a Mew at level 1. Its experience was in the negatives. We gave it less experience than what it would take to get to level 2. Game panics goes, okay, I need to assign this to a valid number. Okay, I'll assign it to the highest possible value. Oh, look, I'm level 100. I might not have learned anything, but who cares? Look at my muscles. <laughs> now I'm just going to pound folks for days. <laughs> I think it's going to pound everyone. Uh, well, thanks for streaming for a better time for me today, by the way. I appreciate it. No problem, Karen. I hope your day gets better. Also, I probably fucking butchered your name. Uh, let's get rid of Irene. That's a Irene Pinya. We don't need the SS oh. ticket anymore. No, wait, oh, isn't TM8 with... or is that? Well, there's a team. I think it's TM8 it was Diggy. Uh, so I don't know if it was Zash yet, but if you're on emulator, how do you go about getting the version exclusives? Well, there's two ways. Uh, the one we're, the way we're going to do it is that we're we're going to glitch our way through them. Uh, but MGA, uh, MGBA does have uh, trading capabilities. Mm. And if I have to, I can make a duplicate of my my ROM or my, oh, I guess a save file. Both. Uh, or both and uh, trade with myself. Oh, come hey, on. I'm trading with myself. Uh, wait, Ryan's here. Santiago, do you have that Google Hangout picture? <laughs> <laughs> Look at when you were happy. <laughs> <laughs> Look how baby faced Ted was. His smile. Gone. <laughs> His smile and optimism. Gone. Uh, VTN Wesley is asking, is the save file compatible with both versions? Can you just load the save with the opposite version and cast the others? Experiment, can you answer that? Not without doing some hex editing. Yeah. Uh, probably the first one, Santiago. It wouldn't be until, I want to say, Gen 4 or Gen 5 you could do that reliably. Because by that point, the games are just identical with a few flags just swapped over. Okay, um... We need to... Oh, we can go get Flash now. <laughs> Actually, let's go do that. Well... Now. Well... Hmm? Uh, experiment, it's even more so the case with fucking BDSP. Well, yeah, because that's just a Unity remake, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of just people getting Brilliant Diamond, switching a flag, and now we have Shining Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Bat John looks like he's gonna sell you Coke. <laughs> What's with, like, why do you think he wears the, the fucking mask? Yeah, I'm kind of wondering why the mask. God, that ancient Mario and Sonic poster. Oh, uh, the Mario and the Sonic. I still have that wall score, by the way. 888. Yeah. Uh, I don't have... So, I, I still have that Mario and Sonic wall scroll. I don't have the hooks for it anymore, though, so I can't hang it up. I, would, I wouldn't hang it back up, though. I used to have a Sonic X wall scroll too, uh, years and years ago. I got rid of it though, uh, after actually watching Sonic X and saying, this is pretty mid. <laughs> English or Japanese? Uh, Japanese. 
Okay. I don't think the show is that much better in Japanese. <laughs> better soundtrack, but uh, that's about it. Johnny, it's anti-Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> You know, John, you're out of your dad by grinding 11 decks by respected best of luck. It's really not that big of a deal for Gen 1 specifically, uh, Ryan's fine, because of the things we can do in Gen 1. Yeah, there's just 150. I have more to see. <laughs> and no more to see in Gen 1. <laughs> well, with the power of glitches, we could complete our destiny! Zubat, 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 Zubat. <laughs> <laughs> Get him out of my hair. Remember me? I'm Professor Oak's aide. If you call ten kinds of <laughs> ten. Fuck that is chicken feed, my friend. Do you know how to use a Pokeball? No, then get the fuck back out there. Well, we have HM5, which is Flash, and this is how we're supposed to see our way through Rock Tunnel, and only Rock Tunnel. No, wait, hold on. Is there any other cave that's dark? I think nope. there's like... Weren't there two? Nah, was Cerulean Cave or... dark? Yeah. It wasn't? Well, then, you can walk right so it's it. literally just for Rock Tunnel? Yeah, we don't need it. I literally know the way through that place. We'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, it's just like... Man, what a fucking waste of space. Yeah, that's most people's reaction mm. to HM5. Jacob, what are you talking about? Are you saying Sonic X was animated by the same folks as Batman? Huh? Same production company, maybe. Considering, you know, most of it was outsourced. Oh, Sonic X is TMS. What's TMS? At the production studio? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're what one Batman, of the big anime though? houses. Oh. The anime series. So it would have been the animated series. Don't I mean, just because they're made out of the same production studio doesn't mean they're of the same quality. They're clearly yeah, not. Because yeah. <laughs> again, yeah, who's TMS to say they did? A... Yeah, who's said TMS did it all in house in Japan? They might have farmed that off to somewhere yeah. in South Korea. Well, not only or that, it's like it's not as if it's the same animators or same team. Exactly. Yeah. So. All right. Uh, so our Pokemon for this route is. Drowsy. And what else? Maybe some fighting types. Oh, can we Blue catch Machop here? Uh Ekans is in red, not blue. Drowsy at 25%. Uh I mean what roots are we on with the one east of Oh fucking first try. Holy shit. Let's see. Oh, Level one. nine. I'm gonna fucking massacre this guy. I know, it's gonna be ball. hilarious. Um, Just put him into the ball already. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paralyze him first. Okay, so, for generation one, we have... Spear... We have Spearow, Sandshrew, Drowsy... Fucking just, like, smack. And that's it. I can't do anything to this Drowsy, physically speaking, because, uh, I will murder it. So I'm gonna have to throw a ball now. Hopefully the paralysis is enough. One, but two, fuck. Um, but in particular, TMS, one of their subsidiaries, is at Marza, which okay. Marza has been doing the um the C the the good CG for Sonic since like fucking Unleashed? 06. But they have done the Shadow one as well, or was that another production company? Shadow I want to say that was another production company, but they did do Shadow. Night of the Werehog. Yeah, so they would have done 06 on the East, Night of the Werehog, and onwards, then. Yeah. They also did shit like, um... They also worked on the Sonic movies. Like, the, yeah. the films. Makes One sense. and two, as well as three. Coming up. I'm not gonna peck you, I'm gonna f uh, Fury attack you. Don't hit five times. Okay, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that, but isn't it usually you only get two and they get like five? Yeah. That's, so you have nothing to worry about. Stop fucking breaking balls! <laughs> it's a ball buster, Johnny. Mm. Don't forget what to name it. Ball buster. Stop! 
No. If I waste a fucking great ball on this piece of shit. <laughs> Stop fucking breaking my balls! Come on! Hypnosis. <laughs> I don't think you power much that bustin, hard enough. Bustin, 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 bustin. Holy shit! <laughs> You're gonna have to use a great ball. I don't want to use a great ball. If you You're break out of this fucking great ball, I will give, uh, reek. Oh, fuck me, dude. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't think you want that from this one. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, time to do it our way. You break out of this ball, I will break your kneecaps, your fingers, specifically in that order. Shit down that thing you call a nose, and then I will eviscerate your entire family and turn it into dog food. Am I perfectly clear? No. Drowsy? It's supposed to be Chris Hansen. It's not fucking. I gotta, I gotta catch two anyway. Yeah, the other one's called Chris Hansen. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's Chris Hansen! <laughs> 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 Just chill, man. I only busted two. How many? Four balls? <laughs> Why does Ball Buster perfectly fit, dude? <laughs> oh, no. How are you gonna do handle like evolutions? What do you mean? So are you just gonna like grind another? Uh, oh no! Bit? What I'm going to do to save on time uh, is that once I duplicate my rare candies and nuggets, I am going to and master balls. I'm going to catch what I need and fucking shove candies down their throat until they evolve. Pizzy's gonna give everything diabetes. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then we can go, Jesse, we gotta grind. <laughs> grind. Yo, Mr. White, I'm all set up at Cinnabar. <laughs> <laughs> the drill poster of the fucking tweet just now. Uh the same to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I reviewed my profile myself, and it's still really good. Please let me change my name back to normal now. His name is currently Slave to Woke. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And the reason why is because Elon kept giving him the check mark against his will. Why? Actually, I don't answer that. Like, a guy is fucked in the head. It's because he can't pretty be much in the head, he has money. Most accounts that are over a million follow uh, that have over a million followers get a check mark for free. All right, send in, send your bots to follow me. <laughs> and Drill does not want a check mark. <laughs> I think that most people are saying I didn't pay for this shit. Win, lose, or draw? Um, sure. What's the commission rates? MT. <laughs> 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 Not even using the experiment part, just T. <laughs> it is T. <laughs> <laughs> Miss. Okay, now you missed the T, not exper as experiment T. You try chucking me in the Boston Harbor, I'll chuck Boston into the sun. <laughs> 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 I pity the fool who tries to shoot his own man to the harbor. Wait, what? Oh, what the fuck am I doing? Uh, nothing correct. I'm going, to, I'm going to focus more total for now. <clears throat> I mean, he's only, what, 10 levels away? Uh, yeah, because it, it goes to Blastoise at 36, I think. Only Venusaur is the exception to the rule, I think, because uh, Bulbasaur becomes Ivysaur at 15 instead of 16. I think it also becomes Venusaur at 35 or 32. I think, yeah, I think Venusaur, I think it was supposed to be like grass types evolved a little bit earlier than others. Yeah. Yeah, grass types and bug types typically level up lower. Yeah. 32 for Venusaur, thank you, uh, Tekken. 16 for Ivysaur. 16 for Ivysaur. Are you sure? I, I thought it was 15 for some reason. Uh, it's always been 16 for most oh, of the stars. Okay. Unless, unless it's Gen 2, in which case it's just a half fuck you, we're not gonna tell you. Yeah. <laughs> when will it evolve, Paul? You better find out. See, if someone's expecting a poll for the Gen 2 stars when we get round to that, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, it won't matter, because we're getting all free. 
I remember one starter that evolved the 18 was a Toto Dial. I'm, I think that's right. Uh, yeah, answers. one, one was early, one was mid, one was later, and they then call that the one final day. Evo. <laughs> early. It's very rude. He was he was I mean, it. it's Gen two, so we have the best cloning technology in existence, which is just question Karina, the mid one. <laughs> Centacore was level 14. Yeah, Centacore was the uh, early bloomer. Hmm. And then it becomes Charizard without wings. Uh, <clears throat> I gotta tell you, Typhlosion is a Pokemon that just looks much better as a sprite than a 3D model. Man, yeah. Typhlosion is my favorite Pokemon of all time, so I always want to have one in my team. Oh, wait, hold on. See, I'm, I'm, gonna 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 like a, I'm gonna be a basic bitch and just be like, uh, Lugia. <laughs> well, you are indeed basic. Oh, yeah. Well, it's either that or I've got to wrap my boy Porygon, you know? Uh, I'm doing Porygon a living next for all gens, Legotron. Hello. Who's. <laughs> Kisu and the type of just looks high as a kite. Matt, I've been trapped here in the past. These edibles aren't shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got all the shell man to pause. And guess this. If I bust them, they get angry. Not these ones, though. These ones are made out of wood. How you doing, oh. Nidorino? Finally, oh, Nidorino. Well, good day to you, Nidorino. The scary thing is, this isn't even the scariest form of Nidorino. <laughs> it has a duplicate. It even has oh, the very man. original name of Glitchy Nidorino. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's literally what it's called. Mm. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so, nine, oh. ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, five, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eight, it's an HP in. per tile, right? Uh, no, per uh, uh, like three tiles or something. Yeah, like I think it's like that. Yeah. Uh, every All four right, times, thanks, Spiel. Okay. 69. Oh, wait, you know what? I deposit some of these items, and I don't need them anymore. All right, Trios, I'm sorry. I'm having to turn off your retweets. They're too horny. <laughs> no, they aren't. Wow. My... <laughs> Fucking kettle meat pot. <laughs> <laughs> There's another part to that, but I don't think it's appropriate. <laughs> I like a lot of things about Pokemon Gen 2, but I hate it competitively. I never cared about the competitive scene for Gen 2. I was, never Gen in, I was never into the competitive scene in period, except for like Gen 5. The problem with Gen 2's meta thing is Snorlax. Hmm. It's highly Snorlax, because <laughs> for one simple move, curse. Really? Oh, okay. It, because it cranks up its attack, which is pretty high to begin with. It cranks up its defense, which considering that thing's thicker than, yeah. you know, everything else in existence. Yeah. Speed goes down, but who cares? It's Snorlax. Yeah, yeah, it's Snorlax. So you just run it with Curse, and then a few specific moves, rest. Maybe if you want to just say, oh, you thought I'm dead? Haha, <laughs> nah, full health. You give it a berry so it can recover from that immediately, or even worse, give it leftovers. Ugh. Uh, Ash is a lovely Snorlax, or Red Snorlax, I should say. It had leftovers, didn't it? Mm, maybe in the... Mm, did it? Or they were thinking of um, another Snorlax. I, uh, maybe because I don't call Red in at least this version of Gen One, Gen Two. We were having held items on those uh, teams. I'll be honest, I've never played Gen Two. You don't miss much in the grand scheme of things. I love Gen Two. That's it. <laughs> I played the remake Heart Gold, but I've yeah. never played actual Gen Two. Uh, then you don't need to play OG Gen Two. Yeah, if you play Heart Gold and Soul Silver, that is that's better. I would say. For the most part, they never did fix that stupid buzzy level curve. And you know, they actually made most of the Johto mons available in Johto. It wasn't like, oh, you want a Murkrow or a Mischievous? Ha, get fucked, sucker, you've got to wait till post game. <laughs> I will most oh, yeah. likely be going to Crystal. 
I, I've got to request the GS, for Gen 3. To... Yeah. What's up, though? Uh, for Gen 3, can you skip the first gym? In which game? Uh, Emerald. Uh, the first gym? I don't think so. No, 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 not like skip skipping the gym, but just going on ahead into the patch of grass that's outside the gym. Oh, that, yep, you can do that. Because there's an Abra there. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can get Abra's early in Gen 3. Yeah, you can get an Abra before you even fight yeah. the first gym leader. I remember uh, Jason told me about that, actually, because he knew my pharaoh was Alakazam. It's kind of busted. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Stadium 2's Academy was like the one thing in this series that taught me how to be good at this friggin' thing. And you know, Earl was just a treat. Just because of the bloody voice samples, you know? Very, very simple! <laughs> ah! It's just. Ah! Uh, <laughs> you get fucked up! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> just like me for real. Yeah, you can skip Gym 2. Can we skip Gym 3? No. Can we skip Gym 4? No. Then you have to go back and do 1, so Gym 5 unlocks. You do 5. You can skip 6 if you want. Can't skip seven. Seven sucks. Eight is whatever. Do I, do I walk into our puzzles? Riveting. What's he using? Water. Oh, cool. 80% of the world. Great. I've already got like two things that can kill them. Fuck, it's hitting the lies in this stupid fucking Zatu Cradle nonsense. Bunch of punters, love them. Anyone think Black and White 2 was the best last 2D game in the series? What the fuck? I think you mean just 2D, because what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, on. by technicality, Black Gen 5 and Gen 4 weren't 2D. They were 3D with 2D sprites. Yeah. Their engines are full 3D. Can we go back to that, please? No, you I, like I, I would 3D. love a second... Uh, I, would, I would love another sprite-based Pokemon game. You know, but I'm old yeah. and hate change. <laughs> I don't mind Gen 5 Part 2, but I wouldn't put it on a huge pedestal. Also, what happened to that other Magneton's eye? Uh, it's not looking at the camera. Oh, it's, um... It's faced the other way, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, just, it's very similarly shaped to the eye. <laughs> I just like to think that the two of them are acting normally and that one's just black what out an evolution. And I got people fucking harp on few later gens for stupid evolution designs. Magneton is just three Magnemite. <laughs> oh, hey, at least in Gen 4, we got the king of metal. <laughs> Good old fresh. Uh, is there I am here? There's so much space here. There's a lot of space in these routes. Shame nothing's in them. No, there's gotta, be, there's gotta be something here. They wouldn't give me all this space here without getting me an item. Whoa, well, someone at Nintendo, is uh, the Pokemon company is currently laughing at you. Yeah, Doug Trio is also just three diglets. I enjoy Trio, Gen Trio, Trio. Just a shame about the performance and the online stability. No, don't tell me there's nothing here. I don't believe it. There's gotta be something here. Why would they give me all this space? Fuck. Just to here. fuck with you. <laughs> Gen 4, when it first started, god no, that was garbage. Once we hit platinum, though, oh, oh, now we're cooking with gas. Mm -hmm. Oh, if we ever do get to Gen 4 in this lifetime, we're absolutely calling Rose and Scrotum. <laughs> in this lifetime. I hate how that's a valid <laughs> sort of thing to say. I guess you better reincarnate. I wonder how old I'll be when we get to Gen 8. 73. 73? Shit, I was pushing for at least 71. And he's still playing the latest update of Final <laughs> Fantasy XIV. Damn right. We yeah. didn't tell him the service got taken down 30 years ago, but you Finally know, got the graphic update, they promised 7.0. No, you finally. Finally, you're finally, you finally, you finally got the top cleared. The remake of Gen 8 will be out by then. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, strangely, I have just obtained a psychic TM that tells me in the event Jelly does get remaked, I imagine it's still going to be as boring and disappointing as it was originally. Oh, a Spiro. We can catch one here. Actually, I gotta do that now, so... 
Oh yeah, because we need Farfetch. We need Farfetch. That's literally hey. just a bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to trade in your Pekka. <laughs> now we need wood first. Then we can have Pekka wood. wood. No oh. wood. <laughs> hey, uh, SSB, thank you for. Uh, how do you, how do you pronounce that name, Lysian? Is the Y silent? I imagine it's like Lys. Probably. So to, I don't know. But the Gen 1 torture is going just fine. As in, it's Jeff, definitely Gen 1. Oh, I just said when we start doing the Safari nonsense, we don't accidentally make a glitch city. Uh, it's Il Isselin? Is it supposed to be, I'm, I'm thinking those Il are three L's. Or is it a Roman numeral three? Uh, Ian, like the name. Um, oh, okay. Oh, Elysian? Ian Elysian? Is that how you fuck? Yeah, uh, yeah, I am so fucking stupid. Elysian, like Elysian. Elysian. Okay. All right. I'm going to forget about that, by the way. So One of the um, ideas of a utopia and classic Ethereum. mythology. <laughs> you know, it's, it's dusk in Elysian Tale. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> Ooh, that's a I haven't heard. I haven't, I haven't thought about that game in so long. Wasn't that one with uh, with all the horny people? Which one was a lot of those? I was gonna say, uh, isn't every indie game made by a horny dev? I've yet going back some people. Yeah, looks at Helltaker. <laughs> oh, well, see, that was deliberate though. That is very much deliberate. Like like minute fucking one. Although, honestly, Bash did have really amazing animation in it. Man, I need to play that game. Which game? Helltaker. Dust. Uh, I haven't, I haven't oh, Dust and Elysian really. Tale? Yeah. So, Dust and Elysian Tale is a good game. It's too long. Yeah. Uh, that's my problem with that. It's uh, its gameplay is not enriching enough to for, it as, for as long as it is. All right, because that piece is coming out, out soon. Right. The Truly, there's got to be an item here, right? Look at all this fucking empty space. He's pulling for it again, guys. How's it going, Sierra? I am Sierra. fucking touching grass. <laughs> at last, John touched the grass. I'm going to get an item. There's got to be... There's nothing here. <laughs> Thank you. I love that, you know, Van Ripper released Helltaker for free, pretty much, and is now currently set for life for um, all this merchandise sales. <laughs> you think Toby Fox still makes money from Undertale? No, man, it's the Undertale merch that gets him living. <laughs> I mean, don't we both have fucking Lucifer uh, statues? No. <laughs> no, I never got mine, actually. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get it at a fucking, like, third party. So, oh, yeah, the, the fat fuck's in my way. Also, Jesus Christ, good smile. Fucking 10 to 12 months for a goddamn figure. I just found an escape rope in that tree. Nice. Oh. Oh. Well, hold on. While we escape Listen. the living. <laughs> no. Well, come on. I know, like, it could have just been a fucking rope that was hanging for, like, a tire swing. Why is everybody got to be so fucking morbid <laughs> in this children's game? Escape the living. This one is, this, isn't, this place isn't based on is the... Is this Blue Rope Forest. the Bite of 87? <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> is that the Strangulation of 88? <laughs> then where's the tire, John? It's fucking gone! My dad took it without me asking, looking at me, and he sold it for money. What did, what did he buy it with the money? Oh, uh, Was that the Rope of 91? <laughs> <laughs> Literally just sells it for, like, a wheel chassis with bricks on it. <laughs> All right, well, that's as far as we can go in terms of the eastern route because we need the poke flute in order to wake up Snorlax. So uh, we are going to call it a wrap uh, for the session here. 
you will be unable to move for five turns. But uh, don't fret, it won't be that long. Uh, I am going to end the session here, folks, and in about uh, 20 minutes, give or take, or at least until the, like, the beginning of 5 o'clock, uh, I'm going to host my Community Night Q&A. That is for my Twitch subs and my patrons. Uh, keep an eye on the Discord for instructions, although it's very easy. <laughs> don't worry. It's not complicated at all. And I will see you guys then in there for that one. In the meantime, for everyone here that's just tuning into the stream, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Some pretty fun conversations we had tonight. Well, today. I'm going to say today, not tonight. Because it's only fucking Sunday afternoon. Oh, my automatic light went off. Okay, that's cool. That's probably a good sign to wrap it up. Uh, let me find like someone. Like non-war crimes. I yeah, actually like have some war crimes. Yeah, right. fucking Agent Orange is my favorite tang flavor. I've got someone <laughs> who's doing a charity event. Oh. Oh, is it that, uh, yeah. that charity oh, event that was mentioned yesterday? Uh, yeah, yeah. the yeah. Autism self Advocacy Network. Right, event. right. Uh, yeah, give me the, um, give me the yep. Discord. It's, it's in general. It's okay, thank you. Uh, we need a raid hashtag, though. Why do I know this name, the Oni Fox? Because he's modeled stuff for Linky in the past. Oh, that's why I know. We need a raid hashtag, though. Uh, Pokemon War Crimes. I like Butt Nuggets, too. Butt Nuggets, uh, let's see. Yeah, I feel like it's for charity. We have to make it wholesome. At the same time, if they modeled stuff for Linky. <laughs> no, no, no. You can, um, you can, make, you can make it some stuff. Like that. Yeah, you some can stuff. make it pretty bad. Okay, then Butt Nuggets it is. <laughs> yeah. Uploaded my oh, body. this channel is intended for mature audiences. Hell yeah, we're raiding with butt nuggets. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, uh, send Oni Fox my love, and if there is a means of donating to a good cause, uh, consider a donation. I will see you guys in about twenty minutes or so for the community night Q and A. Have a good night, everybody. Do take care of yourselves. After I hit right now. <laughs>